And boom, we're live. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Jeremy's back. Yeah. I'm back. Austin's here, too. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's for impersonating me last stream. Yeah. <laughs> well, last time I was around for stream. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. So we're playing uh, Helldivers <laughs> he said, 2. That's fair. <laughs> playing Helldivers 2. There are new toys. Uh, we have a new heavy machine gun stratagem and a new quasar cannon stratagem. I'm really excited about the quasar cannon. Because it's the, the the best way I can describe it, because saying laser cannon gives you the impression of just like a beam, but it's like having a no backpack recoilless rifle that has a cooldown. Um, because it, it's explosive. So I'm excited about that. If that thing can punch through chargers and, and bio titans, that's going to be the new meta. But I'm okay with it. I think I'm. I, I think I'd be okay with that because it 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 seems to have plenty of drawbacks. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, are you guys able to join my game? Yes, I was just trying to start selling, and I can't even do what I wanted to do. I'm not. I've been playing this a lot more. A little bit. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. It said you joined Jeremy, and then you left. So I assume it kicked you. No, I didn't leave. Hmm. Well, uh, it's letting you stay in here longer than last time, so I assume we're good. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. We can never have too many heroes fighting for peace. So, um,. Obviously, last weekend was uh, like probably the, the, well, last week in general was like the biggest week for video game drops, at least that we know of this year. Um, I got Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of Ronin, Rise of the Ronin. I think you would, I don't know if I'd recommend Rise of the Ronin, Jeremy, to you, but I think you would like a lot of stuff about it i don't know how i know you've played elden ring but i don't know how you are with souls likes in general but it's like a really fast paced souls like um what we're we talking about rise of the ronin okay um and like i don't know i really like it i, I think it's fun i think the weapons are interesting i, I think it feels a lot like assassin's creed in a, in a good way um, and it's not trying to be Ghost of Tsushima. That was my biggest concern, was that it was just going to try to be Ghost of Tsushima, and just nothing can be Ghost of Tsushima. And it doesn't try to be. Steven, there is a game by Bandai Namco mm -hmm. where, you play as a where you play as a tiny Pomeranian, and the goal is to make the house dirty. <laughs> While your owners try and wash you the entire time. It's by Bandai Namco? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. It looks fun. I don't see the Koisa. It's not in the top menu. It's towards the bottom. It's where the oh. guard dog rover oh, is, I, I believe. I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay, that thing can actually. That thing can actually one shot Hulk. There's, know. there's no way though, right? Like, there's no way. If it can, that's probably an issue. Unless if the charge time, well, like, if the charge time is is long enough and the cooldown is long enough, I think that's fair. But I don't know. Which I guess a well placed anti material rifle can one shot a Hulk. So. I'll need an invite from you. It's not letting you join? No, you didn't even pop up online at all for me. Awesome. Love that. Did you get that invite? Yep. By the way, Steven, uh, one sec. April 12th, I'll be buying my graphics card. Fine. Hey. I probably need to upgrade my... Well, 
I need to do to see where my computer needs upgrading. Probably everywhere the, because Outpost and Fantasy probably, are just not working well. It's not probably. It's definitely. Okay. Good. <laughs> Do we still have the three stratagem limit? Did that go away? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. That went away. We have four stratagems. It's just cooldowns are increased. I'll be back. I'm going to bring the Quasar and the heavy machine gun. Jeremy, um, you can have the, heavy, the first heavy machine gun. Hey, Monty. He's so rude. He makes me mad. What makes everyone? Right. I think it's 50 KD, 500 KD bomb. This tree. Did you watch the Helldivers 2 animation that I sent? I didn't. I, I gotta oh, watch that. It's, it's oh. so funny. It's, it, the energy is so fast. Like, it, it, it only slows down to make like references to movies and memes, but one of the memes that it references is the meme of Wolverine from the X Men animated series laying down in bed, like caressing the picture, and it was a uh, Helldiver caressing a picture of the 500 kg. <laughs> uh, also, everyone check your gear. Make sure that it didn't yes. get changed because it does default still for some reason. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna watch this. I just realized Discord's probably not coming. Oh, wait, no. Discord is coming through. Wait, say something, somebody. Something, Hello. somebody. Thank Hello. you. Hello. So I beat Dragon's Dogma today, or last night, Monty. And uh, I'm not going to spoil the ending. But... Get ready. <laughs> oh yeah, we're fighting bots. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Sorry, we're we're contributing we're contributing to the war front. There's there's the caressing of the photo. Whoa, you you even The ending uh Jer Jeremy, there's your heavy machine gun. The ending is it's it's it, it's very that's that's the quasar machine guns yeah down there, it's very thematic, because um, the whole thing with Dragon's Dogma, is that the world faces cycles, uh, uh, one of which yeah, being, on. the uh, the dragon. Uh, hold on. I missed my first shot with the quasar. Uh, oh man, that's a long cooldown. Quasar's not that good. Or I'm just bad. Probably that. Probably okay, bad. cool. Yep. I really enjoy that the uh, the the chainsaw guy, his attack animation is faster yeah, than my heal animation. That's my favorite thing about him. Oh my I'm god. Dead. Get in the mech. Get in the mech, Shinji. Yeah, isn't that the, isn't oh, that the joke? I'd oh, love God. to actually do something. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and there goes my hack. <clears throat> oh, you've never seen us fight the bots, Monty? Well, buckle the frick up, because the bots are so, so, oh, so busted. God, Hold on. I'm, I'm going to drop a 500. Okay. Right up there. Oh. Yeah, I saw Eradicate, and I thought, oh, okay, so er Eradicate bugs. I brought the napalm. Oh, oh no, Austin, no. <laughs> you gotta reinforce it. Yep. Oh no. Sending in an eagle. Can I get a reinforce? Yep. I gotta drop right next to a Hulk. Yeah, I did not see the Hulk when I threw you.
I, it does not one shot. It does not one shot. They are exaggerating the photo. I mean, video. Kobe! Definitely exaggerating it. Here we go. And one. I'm alive? I didn't know that. Did I get the Hulk? Please tell me I got the Hulk. That would have been so badass if I got the Hulk. Yeah, um, Steven? I didn't get the Hulk. You did not. No. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, we're going you... on. Tag, tag the Hulk. Man. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. I don't see it yet. And I'm... I got the Hulk. Oh, no. What have you thrown? Ro uh, rocket pods. You're fine. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. Absolutely fine. No, I got I got killed by a flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Another Hulk. Another Hulk. We're on five. We're on five. Yep. I can't see. Oh gosh! That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh no, that's crazy. That's uh, crazy. Appar apparently not, Caleb. Apparently, I didn't do a clip worthy thing. Dropped an EMS. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I got the quasar. Ah! Uh. Oh, I have an idea, guys. I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. Damn it! What's the idea? Treason. Freezing? Treason. Treason? 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 Running off the map. <laughs> That's a great idea! You gotta reinforce. Yep. Guys, I think it's working. Treason's working? Yes. Excellent. I'm good now. I definitely got- What? <laughs> Hell! <laughs> Can I get can I get one of those bad reinforces? Yeah, I hit that I hit that Hulk near point blank with the quasar. The quasar sucks. <laughs> I don't think the quasar sucks. I think I think I think it's just bad for this. Find high ground and hide like a coward. Okay, I got this. I got this Hulk. I hit those guys with stun grenades. Steven, did I ever send you the photo of a guy ah! <laughs> What? <laughs> did I send you the, uh, the, the Twitter post of where the guy lands on a tank, it blows up, and it sends him flying, and he lands on the super samples? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, I gotta send you that. Peeking that hole could drop me on him. Send me in, coach. You got a rocket devastator over there, Austin. It's going to eat you for breakfast. Uh, where? To your left. Oh, oh shoot. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> for the record, I did hit the Hulk. He didn't care. He didn't care. <laughs> oh, my God. I also brought the SMG. And not the defender. The knight, yeah. It's uh It's not as it's not as good. It's not horrible, it's just not as good as the defender. I think I got the Hulk. Nice! I dropped a five hundred out <laughs> Move on. Dude, I'm set oh no. If you if you're oh my god. <laughs> we did it guys. We did it! <laughs> I got the victory music as I died. I was really confused. Oh my god! Oh my god. Turn on extracting. I'm dead. No, we're, we're dying here. This is it. <laughs> oh my god. Did that kill you? <laughs> I didn't die or get in. Oh, he died. No, he didn't. Watch out for that grenade. Oh my god, that's a grenade! <laughs> He's not dead. Just run, just run, just get in there. Get in there. He's alive. I grabbed the samples too. I think <laughs> I think it was literally one common sample. <laughs> it was two. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Two is the count. What the hell?
What? That pillar of sm like. It looked like we just flew into a mountain, but it was like fog or smoke or something. Hell yeah, two stars. <laughs> Sorry, I threw down a mega hell bomb. My bad. My bad. You threw in a mega hell bomb? Yeah, man. The My hell bad. is a mega hell bomb? <laughs> mega hell bomb, man. It's oh, like yeah. four hell bombs <laughs> strapped to one live hell pod. Explode on impact. Mm. Could you imagine them giving us an impact hell bomb? Oh my god. I mean, technically, that's. I feel like that's something we could eventually get. It'd be like the 500, but it'd be an orbital. So it'd have a slower uh, drop time, but it'd be like dropping a giant impact grenade. Make it like a three second drop time. No, three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you got three seconds. That's it. Gaseous planet passing through a regular one. Cool. Uh, all right. Blitz is next, boys. Liberty, liberty. <laughs> liberty. Yeah, that's there. It is <laughs> liberty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna bring the heavy machine gun. Did, did you get to try the heavy machine gun at all, Jeremy? Uh, about three seconds of it. Yeah. Was it good? Three seconds? Was it good for you? I mean. <laughs> If you can ask that differently, I'll answer it, but... Was it satisfying? Okay. One more time. <laughs> Did the gun work well? Did the yes. gun work well? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I was like, are you, are you serious right now? Hold on. <laughs> um, libido T. <laughs> Gross. Um, hey, remember the thing that I don't remember who was here for. I know Jeremy was there. The drowning glitch where you couldn't actually drown. You were just caught in a perpetual stasis between life and yes. death. That was Boring. apparently because of the vitality booster. It would not oh, let you nice. drown. That's cool. That's hilarious. Yeah. So that's the one thing it does. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. We're finally gonna get a gameplay show, uh, a gameplay showcase for Final Shape. That's what's to release last month. Hooray! It's gonna suck. We're getting a uh, just free update as well for uh. uh it's, it's called Into the Light. They're bringing back a bunch of weapons. Uh, mountaintop, Recluse, Hammerhead. Is it, they're bringing back vaulted one. weapons? Is that what I heard? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? Time-gated. Oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? They got so much outrage. Oh, my God. Get me out of here. Hello, Sweeney? 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 Is that correct? They uh, they got so much outlash from the uh, time gate. They reduced the time gate. <laughs> Wait, they gave you less time because they got backlash for it? No, no. The weapons are going to come out earlier, so the time gate's going to oh. come early. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about also, to say, wow. So they're literally like, all right, y'all want to complain? Cool. Them, them some balls on Bungie. <laughs> um, Bungie's I, still a thing? Yeah. It, it's, That's surprising. Um, d democracy spreading is going well. See? That bomb landed perfectly fine. There's not been any casualties on our side whatsoever. Let's go uh, to this giant one. Oh, that's a great idea. Austin, <laughs> uh, lead the way. We are on Blitz, so we are timed. Artillery. Where? Everywhere. It's artillery. <laughs> Just run. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
I'll, I just know that um, Pelican One said that we were in range of enemy. Oh gosh, I'm about to run in my own airstrike. I did it. Oh gosh, this is a bad spot to reload. Ow. Go with me. Heavy machine gun can totally uh, take out striders through their armor. Not immediately, but it it but they can do it. Oh, this is a good gun. This is this is a very good gun, I feel. But only two mags, so 150 shots to... Oh, gosh. Well, I guess that would be uh, 225. Please help. Got him. Are you a uh, fellow um, fan of Liberty, Sweeney? A purveyor of freedom, perhaps? Or are you a freak? Are you, are you a trainer? Or are you a bot? I love the memes that have been circling of people posting saying like, I think the railgun nerf was a great idea and I think it really helps us spread democracy and then it's like attached to it is just a bug typing on a keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I see those all the time. They're great. Uh, so it's like, I would love to see the automatons win and in sakes of <gasps> cyber sand being rebuilt i'm gonna oh my god hope where's the whole okay they're right there just got one shot by a rocket raider not even a rocket devastator a rocket raider oh, i'm trying to find this clip i'm just gonna find it i sent it to someone if there's a priority enemy ping them I, uh, Ken, I don't know if you, uh, heard my response, but I did not know Coca-Cola Spice was a real thing. I saw someone post about it, and I was like, that seems like a weird idea. Good thing it's not real. Oh, yep, 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 yep. What? Like, what exactly is it, like, what are the spices? Paprika. Or is it the spice melange? <laughs> That's what's called, right? Dune. Did I make a Did I make a yeah. reference? Hey, got him. He made a reference. Hell yeah. Only reason I know that is because of the microbiome episode of South Park. <laughs> yeah. Throw it out and clean up. Clean. Ow! Stephen killed him. You walked into an airstrike. Your airstrike walked in, walked into me. What? You? you whatever. <laughs> Uh, someone's gonna need to take that out. I've got stuns. Guys, this from a backpack. I I took I took the backpack, but I'll give it back to you. Here. You haven't need that. <laughs> I just broke my back. Uh, here you go. Oh God. Please, for the love of God, someone take out that that fabricator. <coughs> we did it. Get back. Another rocket raider killed me. Where are these guys? I don't know. Behind us, I'm Behind trying to us. take them out. Oh, we got extract now. Let's go. Yep. I tried to ping it. I'll ping it. I tried, okay? I got <laughs> shot. <laughs> Where is the artillery? Where is it? <laughs> yeah, it's probably attached to one of these fabricator spots that we took out. There's an eye of Sauron over there. Awesome. Good job calling it by its appropriate name. Yeah, the uh, detector tower is over there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is? What? What'd you say? <laughs> yeah, the detector tower, man. 
It's over there. Where? Oh, hold on. It's gone. Oh, there. Hey, there. It's, uh... All right, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's over there, man. So it's over there. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. I hope the next <laughs> team that drops here can take it out for us. <laughs> So, my mech got obliterated. It didn't actually die, but it got it, it was smoking within seconds. Come on, come on. Piss oh, off. Dumb rock. Dumb walls. Oh. Let me go toss a 500 over there real quick. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and start extraction, but I won't get in without you. What a jerk. Austin did it. I'll need to look it out. No, oh, no it didn't. Dude. That's crazy. The range on the 500 just sucks. I wish it was better. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? It's I got at shot. That, it's at that location. The, mor the mortars. They, they're over here. Okay. Calling you in. What hit you? Mortar? I don't know. Pretty sure mortar. I don't know. I just got completely obliterated, so whatever it was. Oh my god. Oh, the site sucks. Site sucks. Oh, needs to be better. Yeah, mortar. Oh my god. What was that? Oh my god. I dropped an airstrike. Good luck. <laughs> god damn it. Watch your left, Austin. Ow. Artillery's falling in. Be careful. I think you just ran into an artillery shell. I did. <laughs> right. You got the same. Oh my god! I keep getting stun locked by artillery. Are we, are we leaving? Yes. <laughs> this is good at me. <sighs> there's the... There's the battlefield tractor one. <laughs> that felt so personal. <laughs> what is that little person? Like the dude was, if it, if I remember right, he was like begging for his life, and the dude just got on a tractor and drove away. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's worse than walking away. <laughs> like you could argue like driving away or or like you know not having time to save him or whatever. But that's per, one thing. Per, like Purposely getting on a tractor. The slowest vehicle on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Driving away. <laughs> Where'd it go? I sent it somewhere. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta send you this. This is awesome. I gotta watch this. And this one? Watch this real quick. 
gonna send it to you. You've got the bots on the run. Boy. All right, look at your DMs. Okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a hundred and forty four P what the hell, Austin? Do I have to watch this? Is it please please watch it. Please <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, it's three hours and 20 minutes long, you a hole. <laughs> James is getting on now, so we've got our fourth. <clears throat> Give me just a minute, let me go grab some water. I hate you, Austin. <laughs> I skimmed through the whole video. I didn't watch it, I just kind of went to random points. Yeah. It's actually a top 2,000 cheese video. I, b I believe it. I believe it. As soon as I saw the time, I was like, oh, yeah, this guy this guy did it. <laughs> what, <laughs> what what were some of the cheeses you saw? Uh, <laughs> like... <laughs> what, were the, what were the top five? I don't know. I didn't go that far. Okay, you know what? You know what? Actually, let me go so, look. Yeah, go look. Tell me what the top ten are. Read the top ten to me. Since we're waiting on Jeremy anyway. Nine. Sixteen hundred. Nine hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the worst one? First, what's the worst one? Worst one? Worst one? Hold on. Number two thousand number two thousand. Uh just so you know. There's no names. So It's no just pictures? Yes. It's just <laughs> fucking <laughs> 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 You were to watch this? Oh you my couldn't. god, what a troll! I love it! Oh, that's so good. You couldn't even know, alright? Alright, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Number 2000. Let's see what, let's see what I think this is. <laughs> try. Just try. It's... It looks like... Rotten lime wedges on top of a piece of toast. There's no cheese in that. Okay, number four. It's a full-on dish. <laughs> oh my, Steven. It's what? a picture of cheese. I mean, it's not actual cheese. It's just showing pictures with cheese in it. Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing that now. All right, number okay, one. No number three looks like mac and cheese or something like that. I hate this guy. I hate him and respect him so much. That is... the... <laughs> if anybody wants to check out this stupid top 2000 Jesus video, post it on 144p videos. Austin will post it to the meme channel on I Discord. Will be so God, it's three hours and 20 minutes long, and it doesn't even give names. There's no like rhyme or reason. Number one was just like some cheese being pulled off of lasagna. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me go to fucking. Let me, let me go to YouTube. Top. Oh my god! If you search top two thousand, it's top. It, it, the first one's top two thousand cheese. Okay, so it's 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 got it's got a oh reputation. James, James, what's your favorite oh. cheese? <laughs> oh. uh, it depends what I'm eating. That that is the that is the correct answer. Thank you. <laughs> My my mom growing up, my my mom has she was a wonderful homemaker. Had to cook, still has to cook for so many kids, because she, uh, I'm the youngest of three biological boys, and then uh, my family adopted three girls from China uh, a few years apart, uh, and then two more boys from China a few years apart, and then another girl. So my mom's been feeding an army for a couple decades at this at this point, sure. but. Part of this is that my mom substitutes in cooking. Like if she's making pizza and realizes that she doesn't have any mozzarella, she's the kind of person that would say Mexican blend is the same. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not at all the same. In those situations, yeah. I'm not going to the store, bro. I'm Damn. grabbing that Mexican blend and I'm fucking that pizza up. <laughs> <laughs> Kobe Jack and Pepper Jack are probably my two favorite, though. Oh man, those are those are classics. That's my boy. 
Yeah. Those those are my two favorite meals. Pepper Jack, Actually. especially on a on a burger. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. I need to give Pepper Jack a solid chance because oh, so I, I don't like spicy. And so I've always just kind spicy. of hidden away oh, from yeah, Pepper Jack. Yeah. I I eat Carolina Reapers for fun. Yeah. <laughs> See, I mean, my burger. What I what I do to my burger typically is oh my. Asian seasonings going on that burger. Um, jalapenos are going on that burger. Uh, normally some onions, and um, and pepper jack cheese. It's probably nice. in lettuce, nice. I guess. You know, but yeah, I, I like it hot. I like it hot, hot. Stephen, look your phone. I'm a top onion. twenty nine quintillion okay. cheese <laughs> pepper jack man. Oh, <laughs> my God, Austin. Steven, give me 45 seconds and I'll be ready here. You got it. There, there's, right also, there's also top 10,000 cheese. 11 hours. Uh, I should probably go see if I can get anything. So I'm I'm a fan of, like again, it, it depends on, on what I'm eating. But I think probably the cheese that can do the most and do the least wrong is probably just good old mozzarella. Mozzarella? I don't think mozzarella has ever so been offensive you... on anything. But it's, it is a very versatile cheese. It is a versatile it's, cheese. It's not a. It's not a hugely like flavorful cheese. Whereas if I'm just like making a sandwich, I'm throwing Colby Jack on there. All oh, day. Of course, mozzarella is not a sandwich cheese. No. <laughs> but um, I I like Gouda. But as Gouda, far as like Gouda's like, great. Gouda's good. Um. Oh man, a Gouda burger. Mm-hmm, where you, where mm-hmm. you do like a a quarter inch slice of Gouda. I made a Thanksgiving sandwich uh, after Thanksgiving, yeah. and the cheese that I used was a cranberry gouda. I like white American. White American and no white cheddar might be my favorite cheese actually. Now that I'm white cheddar, white cheddar's so good. The white yeah, white cheddar is my go-to for sandwiches. Munster is awesome, awesome. On the I don't know if I could place Munster because I like I, I don't know have if it, I've ever have known it on a roast beef sandwich. Ooh. I do love a roast beef sandwich. I probably had it then and not known it because I feel like that is kind like, of monster is one of those cheeses. I don't I don't buy it very often, but it's mm-hmm. it's one of those that's like if I'm gonna make like a big sandwich and like cut it up and like serve it at a party or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not for myself, mm-hmm. dickholes. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'll get I'll get monster and like uh, uh, fresh mozzarella and like tear the mozzarella and put it on top of it. Yeah. I roll the bread a little bit. I like a good uh, a, a good fontina as well. Mm-hmm. Um, that's basically like the unsung hero. Nice. It's the unsung hero of um, of pizza cheeses because normally, like mozzarella is what you think of with 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 cheese that goes on pizza. But a lot of times it's not, it's, it's it's not melty though. What mozzarella or fontina? Mozzarella. What do you mean? Like not... fresh, fresh mozzarella. Oh, fresh mozzarella. Like cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not talking about like shredded or anything. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I do like fresh mozzarella though. And that's what I usually do if I'm if I'm getting mozzarella. I'm doing like fresh. Yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. gonna slice it myself and just have like a big yeah. cheese ball. Kaylin, are you a um, like more Nacho of a cheese. more of a like a white queso that's kind of person or if it's <laughs> classic? Got him. Are you more of like a like a white queso kind of person or like a nuclear yellow like Taco Bell comes with chips kind of nacho cheese? There's Did you say nuclear yellow? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like the fake Yeah, like it, it it it's like it's not natural looking, but it tastes delicious. Steven, let's just like let's you? just ch- <laughs> I'm let's, saying let's let's, let's drop on the broadcast tower, take it out let's, with the drop. Okay, let's just drop on yeah, come on. Let's uh, let's go here and then are, circle around. Are there any objections? <clears throat> I mean, I don't say we drop right on it. No, <laughs> I was saying off to the side. Man, now we got to take out the tower with our drop. Um, right. Monty, cool. I I don't know. I, I I've had blue cheese before. I can't. Blue cheese is one of those that there's it, it, a time it, and a place for it, but. It is. It, I usually it, only like it at a restaurant because trying to cook with it at home, I haven't found anything that yeah, I like. Yeah, it requires the absolute most moderation. Yeah. <clears throat> like, a, there's a, a famous burger place here that makes a, a good blue cheese burger, and that's pretty mm. much the only time that I'll eat it. They also do a, a an aged steak that has like a blue cheese crumble on it with like a, a some sort of glaze. I can't remember, but. Mm. Um, 
It's really good, but really only like red meat. Monty, I, I put spicy honey on mine, and it's usually pepperoni, jalapenos, spicy honey. Um, mm. And then if I'm feeling frisky, I'll, I'll throw some pineapple on. A um, little bit of fresh moths, too. <laughs> Your boy gets down in the kitchen. That's why I'm overweight. He does. <laughs> uh, and my wife's a better cook than I am, so. Jeremy, can you bring help? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. There's also a uh, local pizza place here that makes like a 24-inch pizza. Is that the one that we that ate at was... during... Uh, it, like, we ate there right before we left when we came to visit for a couple days, right? Uh, skies, maybe I don't. I just remember we watched the the um, the Gearbox E3 event. Yeah, and we took the dogs to the beach. It was that day. I think we had pizza, and it was really good. I, yeah, I think I think that was Skies. Okay, but that's that's where I usually order from, and they um they actually have the hot honey there, <clears throat> and they um do. Aim for like the tower. Every every single jalapeno. Oh come on! Every single jalapeno has a little dollop of like, a, not ricotta, but like a, a very like creamy cheese. Yeah. So it kind of balances the heat of the uh, artillery. Pizza. It's really good. From the and northeast. They use, they use yeah. like the two we and a half inch. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Pepperonis, like fresh sliced pepperoni. So. Okay, let's go west. The giant pizza. It's also like forty five dollars, but <laughs> jeez, it's a really here. really good. I mean, it's a good pizza. Place. Airstrike out. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I I hadn't actually called anything in yet, so. James, did you pick up uh, either new stratagems? I have not. I, I brought the quasar. If you want to try it. It's okay. It, it's it's. I feel like the the charge time is. Oh, watch out, Austin! Watch out! Yeah. Sorry, I didn't realize. Yeah, the char the charge time and the cooldown are pretty rough, especially if it's not going to one shot something like a Hulk. Um, that artillery. Did you dive that way? Huh? I did not did... move at all. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the artillery we... hit you and like launched you into the wall. <laughs> we, we we need. But to... there was no animation. We need to go. <laughs> Indeed, we need. I'm running. Oh my god, I brought uh, the wrong guard, guard dog. Oh, oh no. Uh, I brought the rover, so uh, when it's ready again, I'll drop you one. I can't believe I brought the... Well, I can't believe it's been a while since I played. Steven, I can drop a 500 on this place. Do it. What have you been playing, James? Uh, Resident Evil 4, actually. It's kind of nice. been my... Nice. Uh, not the original, the uh, of remake. Remaster. Um, I need to pick that one up eventually because I I've never played the only Resident Evil game I played is Operation Raccoon City, and I know how ridiculous that oh is. Oh my god! I know, Steven. I know, I know. That is blast. I, I yeah, oh. a little bit. I did. Mike, ha would, Mike would hit you in the face. Mike knew Mike that. knows this, and I uh, unless if I'm remembering this incorrectly, my my statement was essentially that. I just never got around to it, and I didn't love Operation Raccoon City, but I thought it was fun for what no, it was. It's Operation okay. City was, it got a little, yeah. little more hate than it probably deserved. But yeah, yeah, it's. I mean, it was a fun, low. it was a fun co-op game. <laughs> that, that's yeah. Resident Evil is probably one of my favorite series of all time. So yeah. I've four, seen every single one of four them. has always been I'll the never one. Forget that that zombie turned around going. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no, I take that back. Two was the one that I thought. Um, because two is the one that that is about the outbreak in Racket City, right? Uh, you in Rac? Yes, yeah. But the first three here. take place in Raccoon City. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. So they're just different like perspectives or something. Kind of uh, okay. different main characters and perspective. So sure. first one is basically um, the mansion. So yeah. you're have in you ever, Raccoon City. Have you ever City, seen the movies? I've seen all city. of the movies except for okay. the last one. So you kind of have a gist. Like, yeah. the second movie is kind of like following the stars. Mm hmm So, continue, James. Sorry. Uh, well, they, it follows the stars member in every single one. 
Um, yeah. The first one's Chris and Jill. The second one is Leon, who's not stars. He's an, he's a part of the oh, hey, police force. But um, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and Claire is Chris's brother. So yeah, they're, I guess technically they they aren't stars. But the for, third one is Jill Valentine. For some reason, I didn't know stars. Chris was in one. Chris is in one. Yep, Chris and Jill are are the playable characters in one. But um, it comes as a shock to most people that I mean, everyone kind of hails Resident Evil 4 as like the greatest game ever made. Yeah. And well, also, you know, the best Resident Evil. I actually don't like it as a Resident Evil game. I yeah. thought it was an excellent game and obviously very influential to the industry as a whole. But I didn't love it as a RE game. Yeah. Um, whereas I think the remake kind of rectifies a lot of the. Oh, that's good. The complaints I had of the original. Well, RE4 was like hugely influential in the space of third person games, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, especially the perspective, the third person over the shoulder, putting the character to the left yeah. of the screen. Like, that was kind of its thing. God dang it. Someone dropped me in. I dropped the Quasar Cannon on the, next to this Hulk. Oh, God. Again, I did the, I did the laser when I wanted the uh, reinforce. As well. <laughs> Oh, Steven, by the way, DC Universe Online got a PS5 version. Oh, nice. It was on PS4, but that's cool. It's got, it got yeah. an Um Honestly, very fun game. Pretty good MMO. It's I just don't have the time for MMOs these days. Like, it's just yeah. too much. Yeah. Did someone take the Quasar? I no. did not. It's on my uh, body. There's one over here. It's probably mine. Is it with my stuff? Probably your. I don't know. I kind of stole it. I'm just um, trying wait. to use it effectively once, and I've yet to be able to do that. Still can't. My God! He's gonna blow up! Oh my God! I'm sorry. We lived. Uh, hey, move! Get out of there! Get out of there, Jeremy! Oh no! It's armed. I think. Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> to be even my chest Whoops. landed next to you. I don't know where the rest of me is. Okay. If anybody finds the other pieces, <laughs> we can fix them. I found the rest. Oh. I'm back. Oh my gosh. Whose samples are those? Oh, yours now. Oh, I don't know. I think I have what? Oh, the explosion guy. That sucks. I hate those guys. The suicide bombers? Yeah. Jesus. It's a map. I just well, I I just grabbed samples, not knowing whose they were. No, you're all good. In that animation I sent you, Austin, the thing they show for samples is somebody picks up samples and another guy kills him. <laughs> he picks up the samples. I was like, oh, never met that guy before. I have. <laughs> I've met that guy. Have you been that guy? I'm on the terminal. No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Once, once, once. Once or twice. Because the guy was purposely griefing, right? It's just every every team kill against a, per, a like a purposeful griefer is justified. I just see it as another reinforcement waste. That's why you don't reinforce him. <laughs> because every moment he's... you play with friends, so well. Every moment that person is left alive is another potential loss reinforcement that you have to spend because they're they're intentionally griefing. You, you grabbing that, Steven? I got it. Does anybody have what the defender? Trooper. Yeah, let me carry it. Okay. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Liberator for some reason. Oh, probably because it did the default thing again. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to come in with that, so. Well, uh, you, can, you can have... Gone. You can have the scorcher off of my dead body when I drop inevitably. I'm 
prevented a flare. And then I failed to prevent a second flare. Because a guy literally just started shooting a flare after I killed the first guy. That's fair. Yeah, that's stupid. Ow. Ow. Did they buff the uh, rover or something? Uh, I don't think so, right? I, not that I know of. Is it doing good? It needs it. No, I, oh. I guess not really, <laughs> but... <laughs> Dang, what a, what a twist. <laughs> yeah. I just See, noticed I it, like, one-shotted a few things. So. What'd you find? I found a clip I was talking about. Oh. Like, when we first started the thing. I'll watch it when we get out of here. Been a hot minute since I played this game. Yeah, me too. I beat Dragon's Dogma 2 last night. Oh, yeah? I saw you playing Rise of the Ronin, so I was like, oh, maybe he's sick of Dragon's Dogma. I am not sick the of Dragon's 30 Dogma. 30 FPS microtransaction game. Oh, don't be one of those. <laughs> I just knew it would get Doesn't Resident it Evil 4 it. have microtransactions as well? I mean, mm. but that's Resident Evil. Mm. Why would a Resident Dra Evil need? When Dragon Dazma sells as much as Resident Evil, then let me know. <laughs> yeah, that's that uh. Book, though, that I marked? Devil May Cry 5 also, uh, uh, Game of the Year contender when it came out, also had microtransactions just like Yeah, I actually game. haven't played. I fell off Devil May Cry after 3. Yeah. But that's um, that's really funny because I got onto it after three. <laughs> oh my god, three is amazing! Three is amazing. Yeah. Like it's it's really good. I'm well, one. Of, I guess I it, for the time. I, I, see, I'm a Ninja Theory DMC apologist. Okay. Uh, I understand. So you are all up in Ninja Gaiden's shit. I I did oh, enjoy wait, Ninja Theory. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, okay, but, gotcha. but but I did enjoy Ninja Gaiden. I, I gotcha. I did play Ninja I was Gaiden. Team Ninja. Is it Team Ninja or? I get them confused. Uh, so Ninja Theory is the team that made the reboot DMC, and they also made Hellblade. That's yes. Ninja Theory. Okay. Whereas yeah. uh, Team Ninja did Ninja Gaiden yeah. and Rise of the Ronin. Okay. Yeah. So Ninja Theory, then. Yes, I had it right the first time. Um, that yep. that that was um, the first Devil May Cry I actually played. Okay. Uh, I, I definitely don't feel like they deserved the hate they got for it, but yeah, I think a lot of the problem. I understand why people got pissed because Dante oh, was kind true. of presented uh, as um, an uh, absolute tool in that game. A little bit. But that was kind of the point, right? Because and, and that can all be summed up in the beginning of the game and the end of the game, where at the beginning of the game, um, you're in this fight and a like a, a mop head. Uh, flies towards Dante and like falls on his head, and it's like it looks yeah, like his I don't white think hair. Fans liked that because it was mocking them essentially for what they wanted. But the game ends with him having white hair. Yeah, even when he goes into Devil Trigger, he, yeah, it turns white as well. So, it, so like to me, that moment didn't read as let's mock the fans. It more so read of like this is not the same Dante yet. Yeah. I didn't take offense to it either. Yeah. Like, but you know, people are super sensitive. Yeah, and, and stuff. So. Yeah, and and understandable. Like, and I've grown to absolutely adore the character of Dante, um, ever since I started getting into the games. But um, for me, that being my first one, it didn't offend me because I you know didn't have that predisposition. Yeah. I, I only knew him from Marvel vs. Capcom three. <laughs> oh wow. Well, that Which, is, I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom is a, was a great two D fighter, but. Yeah. Uh, I'm headed to the tower. I saw it was Ouch. at six and needs to go to twelve, so I will get on that. But um I will say the that like DMC I'll let you know either. Um had an amazing soundtrack for what it was. Um mm -hmm. and the level design was awesome. Sure. I actually never finished that one, but um I liked it. I know another qualm people had was it's a character action game that relies heavily on action and it launched hold at on, 30 FPS, so people weren't super psyched about that. Hey, yeah. At least on PS3. I think on PS4 they, they did make what? a... Yeah. What was that? Oh, why'd you die? Did, is the I'll throw you okay, right good. back in. Yeah. Oh. But again, people, people do get... Uh, it's understandable. Like, Getting nitpicky on certain stuff. It's it's like um, when you ha take a classic character like that and you 
you reiterate on them in some way. There's always the concern of, oh, this is Dante now. Right. Um, and, like, a lot of people... Like, uh, the Bureau XCOM Declassified is, is my go-to, where people didn't really play that game a lot because they were like, wow, this is XCOM now. It's ruined. Um, when it was like, no, we literally just got XCOM Enemy Unknown like a year ago, and it sold gangbusters and like reinvented the entire IP. So this is an XCOM now. This is just a oh Jeremy a uh, uh, spinoff. And so that's how I was able to enjoy it. And I really enjoyed the Bureau XCOM Declassified. I thought it was a, a really fun game. Uh, also, I'm dropping a Guard Dog Rover. But yeah, I can understand if there's that sense of like the replacement. Then yeah, that's frustrating. Absolutely. But if it's it's just like hey, we're trying something. It's totally fine. Uh, Quasar's over there as well, if anybody wants it. Also, um, James, there's two breakers over here on the ground if you want one. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, all right. Um, how much do we want to do before we get out of here? Uh, Kalen, uh, sorry, I just, I, I kind of forgot that we were streaming for a minute there. Uh, Kalen asked if Austin still plays Warframe, and I know the answer to that. Yes, he does play Warframe. Uh, yeah, yes I do. Austin, I, I, Austin I, I, literally I, I, gave me, um, two Warframes, like, a few weeks ago, and one of them was a Prime. Yes, I'm pretty proud of that, by the way. I, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we want to get out of here, or do we want to do some extra stuff? We could probably do a few extra things. I'm okay. game for anything, to be honest. Okay. But yeah, my approach, um, just because I want to make sure that where I'm coming from with my stance towards Dragon's Dogma, um, in terms of my transactions, my approach has been that I, I was going to play the game and see if the if the game ever pressured me into do, into getting them or if I was missing out on anything you know stuff like that like and to the game's credit if people weren't told that there were microtransactions they wouldn't know um cuz the 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 only way you can find them like in the game is from the main menu you hit the PlayStation store button and I feel like a lot of games have that even games that don't have microtransactions just ones that have DLC Mm -hmm. um, so it's not predatory in what it does it, I, I think it does it's it's frustrating that those things are there but I okay. think the if you it, for people who are like saying no this is a bad game because of that and ignoring the what is objectively good about the game well I say hmm. they're ignoring something that is very clearly a passion project that does a lot of stuff, I'm going west, we go east, that is very intentionally designed, um, and it's very fun, and it's very, I think it's very good. I, th I think just, oh gosh. Um, I think it was, uh, I think it was Bobbin Prime, I think? Uh, no, it was Mesa, I already had Bobbin. Mesa Prime, yes. Um, but I, I think that people who are frustrated but like are boycotting the game because the microtransactions are missing the point and then you let the game speak for itself and if they don't if they want to protest the microtransactions then just don't get the microtransactions because boycotting the game in the first place is doing more harm in the space of because with your wallet like voting with your wallet that way you're essentially saying I don't want single player RPGs more than you're saying I don't want microtransactions if that makes sense but I get it I hear you I, I totally get the frustration but I, I have, like, recently, I'm dropping a resupply. Uh, in recent years, ever since I got really into Monster Hunter, I've really grown... Oh, help, 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 help. Where? Oh, my God. <laughs> but I've grown really fond of Capcom. Um, they've basically, over recent years, I feel like, have been the developer that just doesn't miss. And if they do, it's a near miss. Um, like, Exoprimal... I thought was a lot of fun, but it just didn't catch on. Where are we going? Uh, we're going. Yeah, that was kind of a slap in the face to to Dino, Dino Crisis. Crisis. It was. It was. Um, and and like it was one of those that it was such a perplexing idea because it's a hero shooter, 
it's not like a mech game or, or a, it, like it's it's literally a hero shooter. But for some reason, they were like, this needs to be exosuits. And it doesn't make any sense. It feels like the most hodgepodge together. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's really fun. I was just going to say, I've heard actually that it's fairly fun. It, it, we, we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, we yeah. played we played it a yeah, ton. I played it a lot. Yeah. It's good. I like it a lot. Yeah. We need to revisit it because they uh, are adding, a, a th either they already have or they're going to in a couple weeks, the, the next season. Oh, which by the way, Jeremy, we missed the chance to get the Rathlos armor. Um, cause that season's over. Yeah. I think that season's over. If it's still going, we can try, but. Wait, Rathalos armor? In what? Uh, in uh, Exoprimal. Exoprimal. They, they did a monster oh. hunter season. You could get the, and, and it was really cool because you, th there's a boss fight you can trigger that is a Rathalos and they literally pulled the Rathalos fight from monster hunter games and put it in Exoprimal. So you're fighting a Rathalos as an exosuit with all this high tech stuff. But the Rathlos is still doing all of its like monster hunter attacks that you know. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I, I thought that was really neat. That it was literally like it, it felt like an asset dump, but it would have felt wrong if it wasn't. Um, Another series I've never gotten into. Monster Hunter. Yeah, we actually did stream it. Um, it's amazing. Monster Hunter is amazing. You never got into Monster Hunter games. Uh, the deepest I've ever gotten was World, and I honestly didn't play it for super long. I'd say less than All 10 right, hours, but here. it's not because I hate the game. It's just, I don't yeah. know, just never really clicked. It's a hard one to click, but when it clicks, it's you're, it's it's clicked for life. It's kind I of how I feel. I the board game more I than I the actual game. Yeah. The board yeah. game is fantastic. I still need to get that back from Mike. I miss it some days. Jeez. Oh my god. I, th I think we dropped. I think we got it. Oh, we missed. Uh, we missed there's one missed over there. Hulk. Hulk. I just hide I'm charging. Hulk. I'm charging up. Don't step in front of me. It did not die. Yeah, the Quasar Cannon's not good. Orbital Rail, baby. Very good. To be fair, it uses less shots than Railgun to kill those, I think. So. Yeah, but the uh, another big issue with it, though, is that you can't sustain the charge. Basically, you have to have it lined up perfectly at, constantly because the the shot fires instantly when it's charged. So that's that really sucks because then you can't have a situation where you are like hiding in cover and then you pop up with a charged shot ready to go. You have to be aiming the shot while you're getting shot at. We cleared it, right? Ow, ow. Okay, hold on. I but, get back. but yeah, I've, I've grown really fond of Capcom over recent years, especially... I, I got super into Monster Hunter, I think, three years ago when Rise came out on the Switch. Rise was the game that clicked with me. And if you ever, for whatever reason, want to try getting into Monster Hunter, Rise oh is the game God. to play. Um, it's just super accessible. I tried Rise with a buddy of mine, and mm. we got turned off fairly quickly. Hmm. What was it, as opposed to World? Which, I, I get it. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was maybe... I don't It's It had been a couple years. So I know we... I think we played it on Xbox when uh, it was on Game Pass. Yeah. Was it because um, it felt like a graphical downgrade from World? I don't necessarily attribute it to graphics, because I'm not... I mean, as yeah. much as I love pretty graphics, I don't... Yeah, I think they're everything. Um, it, it it did feel because I mean it was I don't know exactly what it, it was, was made for the honest. Switch, so sure. it, it did feel like in a lot of ways there was less to it than World, and that's what turned a lot of people off. But to me, the inclusion of the wire bug and the Palamute made it so much easier to pick up and learn. And sure. And yeah, those are pretty cool. I, I literally got, I was literally able to make Flynn in, in the game. And th that was like, yeah. okay, if you give me the ability to make my dog in a game, yeah, we're buds for life. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, I'm headed to extraction. But, right. but, but yeah, I, I just think Capcom is just. You can use your Quasar Cannon. I'll take it. You want my Quasar Cannon? Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm enjoying it a bit. Okay. Um,. But um, I, I just think they're they're just they're popping off right now in terms of AAA developers. Oh, for sure. And um, 
I really want to see more stuff from them that's like Dragon's Dogma. Because that's the kind of stuff they do best. Is uh, excuse me, just kidding. <laughs> well, well, I, by, by that I meant like not live service multiplayer titles, like just oh, okay. good old that's fashioned fair. video games. Resident Evil exists. I know it does. I need to play it. It's on my list. So good. Uh, you probably won't. I would honestly, I think at some point RE1 gets remade again. Yeah. I know there it, they did remake. Obviously, it came out in '96, and then the remake came out in like early 2000s, and that's kind of what the standard for remakes were until RE2, but um, if you can do a fixed camera, I and I definitely think RE1's worth playing, but I mean, story-wise and stuff, if you if you started with the remakes on RE2, I think you'd be just fine. Yeah, that was a, a question I was going to have. I, I know oh, generally the story of Resident Evil, but like, to experience it as a game, are, are they... Are, are they fairly linear in terms of the narrative to where like you need one, you need to play one to get the best out of two and two to three, or are they kind of standalone? I mean, they're, they're definitely more standalone. Um, they reuse a lot of the characters in their games. So, you know, like for instance, Leon showed up in three main lines. He's yeah. probably the series favorite. Oh, I love Leon. Yeah. Leon's a pretty great character. He's in two, he's in four and he's in six. Um, but, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say necessarily that. I mean, the story is not Resident Evil strong suit. I'd say the lore is definitely decent. Yeah. Um, but the story in and of itself in the game itself isn't anything spectacular. It's more the gameplay yeah. I love, I yeah. guess. And Give me a second chat and I'll, I'll read those. I, again, I kind of got swept up in the mission and forgot that we're live streaming. Uh <laughs> Monty says, my issue with Rise is just the UI and design choices. It did feel like somewhat in a downgrade for world. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, but again... Oh my god, a fucking suicide killed me back here. How far away were you? Not too far. Okay, I dropped <clears throat> you on extraction. Um, but I, I'll get to that in a second, Caitlin. But Rise, I played it when it first came out on the Switch. And I played a lot of world before that. But... I had fallen off of the series enough to where I kind of needed a new jump on point. And just a lot of stuff, a lot of the core design with R Rise resonated with me to where um, the, the the downgrades where they did happen didn't really bother me. Um, but like, I, I, I'm the kind of person that I'll say Rise, like World's the better game, but Rise is my favorite. Um, but, so yeah, I have wanted to rise for like a mission or two. But the, the, gun, the weapons work so differently a little bit. I just can't like fully get into it. But the weapons are like, for the most part, way more powerful. The long sword is broken no. in rise. The long sword's awesome. I've I've been constantly trying to figure out the, uh, what is it? The uh, AI slash the attack like the wire bug attacks. Oh yeah yeah. I have like a few of them, but yeah, and that that's that's one of the things I do. That's one of the good changes is that you can customize the way the weapon works through wire bug moves or silkbind moves. Um, but um, yeah, I really hope like a dream game for me at this point is they take the deep systems and ecology of World and 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 the and the beautiful graphics. And they br bring in the quality of life stuff that Rise did, like the in uh, improvements that they made to Transmog, um, Palamutes, 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 I need my dog back. Uh, if I can't bring Flynn with me in Monster Hunter uh, Wilds, I'm going to be really disappointed. Um, but yeah, like, just blend those two games together, and oh man, that's that's it. Let's go. Monty, I have a specific main few Warframes. I mean, this is probably at the top of my list. Um, also, Kalen asks James, I assume he's referring to James, did he play Village? Resident Evil Village. I've, I've beaten every single Resident Evil game. Revelations oh, yes. and 1 and 2? Yes. Um, I actually Umbrella Core? Revelations too. Uh, you don't really beat Umbrella Core, but I played it. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop with Umbrella Corps because that's the deepest cut that I have. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm so impressive that you know of its existence. I, I but yeah, if it's, if it's in the Resident Evil series, I've played it and finished it. I actually did play Revelations 2 for a time, but I got it because a friend of mine, uh, a former friend of mine, um, got it and he was like, there's a really cool co-op du like dungeon crawl mode. And, and, and so I yeah, got it for raid. that. Yeah, and I really raid enjoyed mode. that. I, I thought it was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think raid mode's decent. That's yeah. why I don't understand why Capcom can, like, they, they love, they, for some reason, want a game in the uh, multiplayer space for Resident Evil, but they they never fully develop a co-op game, and I just don't understand why they don't do that. Because Raccoon City got blasted in reviews. Yeah, but they also, that got made by Slant 6, which is the team that made um, SOCOM what ps3 yeah slant six made that game what <laughs> that's so yeah. weird and it was like the yeah it was just a one it, it, it didn't really actually put like yeah an they a team on that you yeah, know what i mean they didn't like, give it a full effort you're right it's just like I mean, it wasn't a horrible game it just you know what do you expect yeah steven are we liberating truest uh we're doing whatever the major order is trying to get us to do nice we're liberating Oh, by the way, apparently something on Truce is something major. Because you know, if you tell me that, that someone saw an Illuminate, I'm going to kick you from this voice chat. No, no, no. <laughs> someone, someone saw a blue at, alien. A, 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 there was a website that shows you the player count. Yeah. For every planet. Mm -hmm. And when Truce was locked still through like the planets, there was one player on it. And so people are assuming it was Joel. Just planning something horrible. <laughs> just Joel playing actual <laughs> missions, just placing <laughs> landmines. <laughs> That's so dumb. I have seen, though, like, there was one person on Cyberstan at one point or something like that. Um, which I don't know how you do that. It's probably Joel. There's no one. There's no one planning something. I love one of my favorite parts about this like the surrounding um, conversation of this game is how Joel's name got brought up like he was introduced and he immediately became the catalyst for everything wrong that happens in this yeah. game I he love that much. so much <laughs> <laughs> feel bad for him a little bit I don't he's I, I bet he loves it I bet he's reveling he's like he's the kind of person who like based my impression of him is that he and his group of friends, is always the dungeon master. Sure. That kind Have of ever show Joel or he just a, a I think for his safety they will not show him. Yeah, I hope not. Like yeah, cuz yeah. especially if they be, he pisses off the internet yeah. they're going to yeah. get harsh on him. But I do think that a, the the kind of person that revels in being a dungeon master in in D&D uh, &D sessions is the kind of person that revels in hate a little bit. Not not like like legitimate <laughs> hate, but just like oh, even aggravation. Before we launch the next mission, please go watch that clip I sent you earlier. Okay. I will <laughs> I will watch that. Where is there it is? It's not coming through the stream, but I am watching it. <laughs> the swelling music when he went airborne is the best part like he just starts shooting like he's a reverse shooting star and the music is just like <laughs> <laughs> and he just lands on the super sample <laughs> Kylie gets up stims and just picks him up <laughs> Like that's how you know you got a, at least a death captain on your hands when they don't take a moment to breathe from a th something like that happening. They just get up and start grabbing samples. <laughs> um, hold on, let me hop out of the help pod. I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, mm -hmm. All right, Monty, uh, where am I, where, where it again? Uh, let's see. It was Mesa, where were they? 
Baruch, Vauban, Grendel, Harrow, where's he? Nidus, and Zaku. Oh, and Titania Prime. All primes, by the way. Every single War for My Own, it, it's, it's a prime. Except if they don't have a prime version. But if, if you haven't noticed, um, Warfare has crippled me, you know? It's just, uh... Hell divers to hell pods. Yeah. Hell divers to hell pods. <laughs> just, uh... Yeah. I could count on I, I respect, man. That's cool. <laughs> I respect that. Alright. Prime more frames. Why is the ship so dark? Is Steven not paying the electric bill? Okay. Uh, own like three Warframes total. Got Wukong last time. Played it. Haven't been on in a couple weeks. What's insane? What did Austin say that was insane? Because I assume it was Austin. Uh, I own three Prime... 35 Prime Warframes. <laughs> did you just... I own three. Sorry. I meant to say 35. <laughs> And that's that's only counting the prime warframes. Mm -hmm. I own prime wet like prime weapons as well. Yeah. And like yeah. two or three prime sentinels. Of course. What's going on over here, Steven? Did you not pay the uh, electrical bill? What? Yeah. Come dark. Joel. <laughs> Joel and everything. <laughs> In that animation that I sent. I don't know if I sent it to you, James, but it's one I've been referencing. Um, they reveal that Joel, the whole time, was uh, a dog just pulling levers like that uh, secret ending in Silent Hill 2. Uh, Where it's just a Shiba Inu. Did you play... Did, have you, I know you're not really the biggest fan of horror, right? Is, it, is that a fair assumption? It's... Games... Like, horror games in the vein of, like... Amnesia, The Dark Descent, like games where it's just like ru running and hiding. I don't like those horror games, but I like yeah, horror, survival. I don't really either. Yeah, I like survival horror games. Okay, like, good. I much prefer those as well. Like, yeah. I'm not saying that they're bad games, but um, I don't really want to run. And I, I've this is part of the fun for me is the is the fear is also you know having the power to dispatch enemies, but then conserving it and making sure that yeah, I do have enough. Absolutely. Like, like, yeah. I like that. Part of fear is in those situations is having to stand up to what you're afraid of rather than just being able to hide from it. Yeah. I, I don't really like hide and go seek games. Yeah. As much. Um, I'm not saying that I wouldn't play one, but yeah, we are locked to never... three stratagems on this op. Oh, no wonder I can't grab them. Yeah. We're what? We only have three stratagems. That's the global effect. Are you effing serious? I don't like it. But um, to answer what I assume your question was going to be, I have not played a single Silent Hill game. Okay. But I've watched like lore videos and stuff because that's one that I don't think I'll ever really play. Um, just because like conceptually it doesn't interest me as much as Resident Evil. But like I, it interests me enough to where I'll learn about the story okay that's unfortunate because i mean i'm assuming obviously i wouldn't say it for anyone that hasn't played it uh you i assume you know the story fairly well of silent hill 2 then yeah okay that's unfortunate because yeah. playing that and not knowing where the story is going is quite the yeah uh, I, I kind of i kind of realized like in all the because i've watched like an entire lore video on the entire series just because i was curious where the connecting thread was because it always kind of seemed like an anthology series to me. It um, is for okay. the most part. One and one and three are connected. Yeah, but um, so that's mainly why I watched it. But I I could tell 
um, after watching the section on two, it definitely seemed like the most compelling and interesting of all the stories. Um, yeah, yes, I would. I, I love Silent Hill 3. Like, I really do. I don't think it gets... I mean, Silent Hill 2 kind of gets all the praise, whereas I do love a lot of things about 3. Mm-hmm. Um, especially that it's essentially a sequel, direct sequel to Silent Hill 1, which I loved. Um, but yeah, I, I can see that, you know, most people are are for Silent Hill 2, and yeah. I, I can understand why. Mm-hmm. Did Jeremy say he'd be back? Uh, he did. I believe he had to mm-hmm. go do something. Same. But, um, did Kalen ask wh- why he wanted... Um, why village or something about village? It's probably just if I had to or guess. Or he was just curious. Probably just curious. Caitlin, if you're still oh, okay. here, speak up. But um, my guess is that I, I, based on what I know from, I mean, the biggest Silent Hill fan I know, except for maybe you now because you seem like you're pretty big into it, but Mike is really big in Silent Hill. Oh, not, okay. not, not Silent Hill, sorry. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Gotcha. Um, and... Um, his issue with Village and Seven was that it didn't feel like Resident Evil. Kind of like what you were saying about Four. Good game, not a good Resident mm. Evil game. Gotcha. So I think See, he fell I love off with Seven. The... Okay. <laughs> um, whereas Eight, I'm not as high on just because I feel like it aped a lot of what RE4 did. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think R- I don't think Village is a bad game whatsoever, I, and I don't necessarily look at it as like a stepchild Resident Evil game. But uh, I'd re- I preferred the direction Seven was taking, and Eight kind of went more. I don't think it went quite as far as RE4 back in the day in terms of like action, but um, they took a lot of the gameplay, um, a lot of the gameplay from Four, like enemies dropping weapons and stuff, or not weapons, ammo on stuff like that. That mm. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of, but it's also not like I'm a snob and like, oh, it has to be exactly like, I mean, you know, every game can't be exactly the same. It gets right. stale. I get right. it. So I guess we only have three. Austin? Huh? Ready up. Ready? I left oh, my water on the match. Hold on. <laughs> I thought I was ready to go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go. I'll be right back. Two seconds. I was typing out, uh, I was seeing what Monty was pledged to, like Red Veil or in the local Gotcha. Or because you, you can have four Macs at once. Mm-hmm. It, it's easier than it sounds. You just stay with Red Veil. Va- you stay with Red Veil vale and New Loka and the uh, parents who can, are untouched from that. Mm-hmm. So you level up Red Veil vale and Steel Mer- Mer- Meridian Max, but to New Loka, the only one that's affected is Steel Meridian. It's really fun. I told this to my brother last time we talked about Warframe. It's really funny listening to someone talk about Warframe. Because I feel like unless if you're deep in it, and I'm not, I'm not deep in it, but I, I know just enough to vaguely understand conversations. But it really just sounds like you're listening to someone make up words. <laughs> That's it. it's, the, it's the standing in the game, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I know what it is. It's yeah. just like, and I think when you gain standing oh, for, you, God, for one of them. I think it's, uh, yeah, New Local will, will give you 100%, then Steel Meridian loses 50% of what you lost. Hulk Cruiser. Of what you gained, I mean. We'll lose, lose 50% of what you gained, and then pretty much when I guess load, you switch back to Red Veil. <laughs> oh my god. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, and I see them. There's things behind us. There's uh, there's rocket shooters, whatever they are. Rocket devastators. Yes. No, just the small rocket guys. raiders. I feel like this will be a one shot to the back of it, maybe. Reloading. So the heavy machine gun does not have a uh, OTS reticle, which is kind of uh, frustrating. I understand it, but I don't like it, especially with how hard it is to aim.
What do you play on, Monty? Ow. Nice box, okay. If you can, if you play Mesa Prime, increase your FOV. It actually affects her uh, regulators by an insane amount. And then up, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it's like efficiency. Uh, Describe what, because um, efficiency is the one where Efficiency uses, uses less uh, yeah. energy. Strength is like the damage and whatnot. One of them increases her FOV for her regulators. I can't remember which one it is. It could be duration. It could be duration, the uh, strength or range. I just can't remember. Not I think I still have an extra Mesa Prime if you want it. That is if I still have it. I can't even remember. I mean, I can buy another one. I think I have platinum still. It's easy. It's like, what, like a hundred platinum for, for Mesa Prime full? I just got a builder. Really? Yeah, off the market? Yeah. You can thank Prime Resurgence for that. Whenever War Prime Warframes come back through Prime Resurgence, mm -hmm. their market cost and market price goes down. Because you can just buy it from Resurgence. Excalibur Prime is like, I think like, no, not 10,000, but like, it's like 100,000 platinum. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. And even then, no I'm one's sorry. gonna sell. Oh, shit! <laughs> hey, uh, Austin, there's a Hulk Scorcher coming up to you. Oh, man. Yep. <laughs> oh. When I was in the kitchen getting water, I... I made myself a peanut butter sandwich and Flynn who has been just completely oh my god completely passed out on the couch just enjoying the whole couch to himself as soon as he heard that bread unwrap he came in and was like oh you're in here well that's crazy like so what do we have you know like <laughs> man I didn't know you were in here since for both oh you you come here too that's crazy <laughs> I was gonna make a sandwich for myself, but you know, while you're in the bread, why don't you go ahead and make it for me? <laughs> okay, I guess an explosion killed me. I'm calling you in, and you gotta call us in, Austin. Austin. One, but... Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out. Throw us to the extraction. Get back in. Ooh. I have all the whole buster right there. Thank you. Throw like a girl. Hey! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? I'm dead. <laughs> I think a heavy devastator with a minigun was right behind me when I dropped in. Um, I'm gonna call you yeah, in. You can move. You can move, Jeremy. Talks the exact thing when they hear any Tupperware opening. No matter where they are, they will sprint to the room you're in. Yep. Oh god, I'm dead. Here's another. Here's a Hulk. Got him. It would not be a problem nice. how much platinum I have. It really would not. Um. Wait, how much do I even have? I Jeremy, you good? I feel like he's yeah. gonna land on us. I'll try not to. There you go. Oh gosh. <laughs> I kicked it. You're good. Let's go. There you go, my go. Jeremy. Ten seconds. Okay, never mind. I have zero platinum. I'm broke. <laughs> that turned. <laughs> you were literally Damn. like, I have so much. You will not no, believe how I'm much a, platinum a, I have. <laughs> I'm a quadrillionaire. <laughs> I have so much platinum. What you, what you need? One? The, the number's oh, not even that. Like one? There's not a number big Crap. enough for how much platinum I have. <laughs> yeah, it's I'm just a, an I'm infinity symbol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Now it's now it's a negative infinity symbol. <laughs> no, he just couldn't comprehend what what zero was. <laughs> he, was he thought that was the infinity symbol. They don't have that in Canada, I guess. It's just, it just says zero ish. <laughs> About fifteen dollars for hundred and seven platinum. I mean, you may as well, when playing Warframe, you may as well wait for a login bonus that gives you a fifty percent discount because you get those all the time. Yeah. Or even Every the time bonus. They they have a new one. They it does like a fifty, seventy five, and twenty five percent bonus platinum. So like when you buy platinum, it gives you more platinum. <laughs> So, so you sometimes platinum with your I platinum dig into that. Platinum. that was one for the record books, where all missions are lost to an accident. Now that's Coordinates lost. Help us try. So do we think we'll get? Oh, hold on. Okay, cool. Do we think we'll get the next war bond in two weeks? Now that they released free stratagems, maybe. Because was that the pattern last time? Where did the met come out? No, the met came out a week before the new strat and the new war bond, and that was what two I weeks. I think it's ago? second Tuesday, right? Second Tuesday of every month. Mm -hmm. It's kind of their goal for a new war bond. I mean, a new Warbond every month. If they can keep up that pace, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Did where yeah. Did, did they confirm that? Was that straight from them? Yeah, that was from them. Dang. Well, I mean, I guess we already know essentially what's in the next Warbond, so... And we've known mm -hmm. since, like, two weeks after the game came out. Yeah, it leaked. That's still leaked. Uh, Warbond, yeah, War Warbond is a battle pass, basically Monty. But in this game, um, they're not time gated. So as you complete missions, you see at the top right, I have medals. I have sixty nine, nice. And I so the first Warbond is help divers mobilize. That's just everybody gets it for having the game. Um, each Man, each page, man. you spend medals to get access to gear. So let's say you get weapons, armor, um, emotes, stuff like that. And as you spend medals, you unlock more pages until you're done with the war bond. Um, the other two are premium. Uh, they cost a thousand um, super credits, uh, which, which is... by the way, you never have to spend money on, right? Because you can get them through war bonds and through just playing the missions. Yeah, you you get uh, super credits through war bonds, kind of like which that was probably one of the best things that Avengers did that I think the industry may have actually noticed was um, make it to where you never actually have to spend a dime to get all of the um, like battle pass content because they reimburse you for what you um, cause like if, if with Avengers, how, how many characters did the game launch with um, every single one of them, I think you got their full character pass for free and that each one had enough um, currency in it to pay for another character pass. So you just had to play the game and you could just keep getting character passes. I think it's how it worked. Um, gosh, we still... Why are there fireworks? It's Easter. Who does fireworks on Easter? <laughs> Must be the state side, state side in here. Um, <laughs> I, only I could think of Canadians that would do that, but that's the only crazy oh, bastard whatever. I could think of. <laughs> what? I, I thought you guys would be celebrating Halloween around this time of year. Sounds like a Canadian <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of mission is this, Steven? Uh, this is Back sabotage back. supply bases. Okay. Um, we'll uh. 
but yeah, stratagems, um, Monty don't come in war bonds, uh, but basically everything else does. With stratagems, they're just kind of like, like with today, I don't think we got any kind of heads up warning. Yeah, this yeah, this, so this morning they were just like, hey, two new weapons. It's like okay. Yeah, I saw it on Twitter. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I knew about the quasar. Like it, it had been. I'd seen it in like Facebook reels where people were like, "Hey, incoming weapon," but I had no idea that it was just dropping. There's this video I saw. Austin, did I send what, you still? Cadet, what the hell? Ha! Oh, boy. <laughs> that is bullshit. <laughs> Got demoted. That's funny. What did you send me? Did I send you Stone Cold E.T.? Stone Cold E.T.? Are you serious? E no. Oh you my. didn't. I, I'll, I'll, I need to send it to you. It's a guy in a drive through window wearing an E.T. like ba mask, like a full head mask, but he's talking like Stone Cold Steve Austin. So he's like, Stone Cold E.T. wants some sliders from White Castle. What? Like, <laughs> and he just talks for like two minutes. <laughs> and it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But like it, it's up there with Pop Tart, the 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 car crashes. It's it's up there with that. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's just so dumb. I like a really good spot, so I'm just gonna stay up here for a bit. See if it just comes by. Okay, um, let's go north. Let's go north. Go counterclockwise. Also, there's a hole here. Don't fall in that. A hole. Also, so we could play. Oh, don't. Galactic. <laughs> well, it's a different kind of hole. Actually, it's not. It's not a bug hole. It's just. It's just a hole. I think if you shoot into it, it explodes. I. I mm -hmm. Is that? Can we confirm that? I think so. I, okay. Yeah. I fell. I'm fine. Hey Austin, throw a grenade in that hole. Yeah. Okay. Scientific research. Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> you accelerated like three different times when you started to go up. Were you looking at me? I was looking directly at you, yes. Got it all on camera. <laughs> You're kind of like one of those crash dummies. I don't know if you've yeah. seen those Thank commercials, you. but vital part of society, though. <laughs> I'm not a crash dummy. I'm, I'm a crash connoisseur. Right? Yes. That's... Sorry. Yeah? Whoosh. Artillery. Oh, uh, they also got they also got a turret, like a base turret. Oh, I see it. Um, if anybody's got rail cannon strike, that is worth it. I don't have a rail cannon strike, but I have a laser. Uh, they also have a Hulk, and it killed me in one shot. fell in one of the holes. <laughs> if that happens again, just shoot your gun while you're in there. It'll just launch, spit you back out, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to have to chuck a grenade in there to get my railgun and everything out, so hell yeah. Will that work? Ouch. Guess what? We're about to find out. Man. <laughs> 
drop and resupply. Right, where's that? Well, that's messed up. Is yeah, my stuff's in the hole down there. Okay. Did it work? Hey, did you guys know that we're in range of enemy artillery? Nope, didn't work. Had, so had no idea. Yeah, just letting you guys know. There are enemies in... here? Yeah, there are. And in, we're in range with an enemy artillery, just so you know. Run that by me one more time. Like, I, I just... I... Yeah, so what, what we are, <laughs> we're in range the artillery, of the artillery is right here next to me. Artillery, so... Okay. Yeah, see, there it is, right there. You just Now, the artillery... It's within it, range. Guys, are we within range of right it? <clears throat> yes. Um, artillery. But is it within range of us? I yes, believe it can hit us. Okay. I think it's within you range. You know what? You know what? That might be what that means. Yeah, it could be. Uh, I'm on my way to you, Jeremy. You, you were heard. <laughs> the comedy bit. We just. We got to keep going. Go no, it's too good. I, I, yeah. that's why I, 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 just, I, just, good. I went silent. Yeah. Uh, I'm here. I'm going to drop rocket pods on the fabricator. Oh, yeah, I, I bought you in. Oh, I'm sorry. How long have you been dead? Oh, hell bomb. He just here. died. Oh, okay. fuck. Not too long ago. There's the hell bomb. Yep. That's wow. Yeah, that's definitely a hell bomb. Get down, airstrike. Did that work? It worked on one of them. I might be able to take this out with my gun. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> hey, my grenade worked. Uh, or the fact that everybody was shooting at it. <laughs> are you arming that hell bomb? Dropping a pin. North. Oh, oh my god, he is arming it. Yeah, okay. We, we should go. Yeah, I'm gonna start running this way. <laughs> Run, boy! <laughs> I think this rock will save me. Not above the rock. Oh my god. Well, the rock okay. saved me. I was touching the rock. It, the, the, the hell bomb knew I was at base. All right. One second. One second. Lots of calling another one. That was real strategic placement of the hell bomb, though. Just, just let you know that. Phenomenal. Oh man, my emote reset. There's supplies over here. Where's everyone going? Bingo. Reloading. How many hell bombs are we dropping here? That was a a, a um abandoned one that I'd hit just for safety because no one was over here for safe um what just happened I got hit by a cannon turret okay from, our, from the place to our right evidently yep huh yeah like that yep <laughs> you sure did in fact it was eerily similar <laughs> out where 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 is that thing? Oh, I see it. I thought that was just a regular tower because I didn't see the barrel. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. Joining the fray. Hey, hello. Hey. Okay, there we go. My my other headset doesn't work anymore. Like dead dead or just batteries dead? No, it's like 
No, it, it plugged into my controller, but it just, the mic doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. Weird. You know whenever I have uh, that buzzing sound? Yeah. Maybe a short one. Okay, maybe shorten the cable. Probably. I gotta buy a new one. I'll just buy one with my credit card. Tomorrow or something. I'm dropping rocket pods. I hope they hit. Did it hit? Yep. Hey! Let's keep going. Oh, Jeremy's uh, redeployed. Yeah, it's fine. Got you. I, as much as I enjoy watching you guys play. Are they hellbomb? Yeah, it was t where we're headed, so I got rid of it. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Good shot. Whoever just did that. Two shots. So that's what it takes. Confirmed. Calling it an airstrike in the outpost. Pushing in. Oh my god. It wouldn't let me heal. We're gonna need a hell bomb or something bigger than uh, an orbital precision to take out the fuel reserves. Uh, these. You know what's really funny is we're playing on hard when we should be able to play much higher. We're rusty. We are rusty. But also, the bots are... Bots are significantly harder than bugs to me. They are. I agree. And, like, it's not even just, like, a, a tactics thing. It's... They are just broke, broken to where, well, like... they shoot back. That's kind of the... They're, well, they're all ranked. Yeah. Well, and yeah. there's there's stuff's just harder to kill. The ones that aren't ranged. Run. Instigate. Blow up in your face. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Steven. Nope. I'm crawling. I'll, I'll be fine. Oh, shit. I wish the senator was good. It's not good. Keep up with Austin. Main gun reminds me of the Wunderwaffel from Black Ops 3. I remember the Wunderwaffel. But the arc thrower is basically the Wunderwaffel. This just shoots like a plasma thing. You wanna see that? You got the arc thrower on you? No, nope, no! Nope! <laughs> that thing is so bright. <laughs> Wait, like this? Yes. Oh yes, God. just oh like God. that. Oh my God, hold on, wait, 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 come here. Okay, I'll stir it down again. <laughs> <laughs> Flashlight's also really bright. Oh, hold on. Oh, shoot. Nice. Yeah, I, I, I can see that, Monty. Thanks. For... I knew there was ammo over there. That's why I did it. <laughs> like you saw me, you Yo, you, you tracked my you eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Rearming eagles. Let's see if this uh, sends me closer to the objective. All right. Good. 
Here we go. Oh boy. What? Hi, Steven. Reinforcement. Nothing's happening. Well, that's stupid. Why isn't that working for you? I guess I'm not worthy. Oh my <laughs> god, yep. <laughs> what happened? I threw a grenade. Oh, shit! <laughs> it's these rocket raiders. Yeah, I threw a grenade. But, um, I don't know if I... You mentioned Rise of the Ronin, uh, James. Do you have an opinion on it, or do you just know it exists? I know, yeah, I mean, I know of its existence. It's... It's fun. Uh, I don't know. It looks a lot like Ghost of Tsushima a little bit to me. Obviously, I know they probably play fairly differently. So, but, um, so I will say this, because that's kind of my impression. That was my impression going into it as well. It... To compare yeah. those two is, is like saying that Call of Duty and Rainbow Six Siege are the same because they're both modern day shooters. Well, I mean, they pretty much are the same. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. My quasar <laughs> fell in the hole. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um but it's it, it, it's a lot of fun. It doesn't feel like like you know how Ghost of Tsushima through and through was a, a samurai story where like mm -hmm. the the conflict of honor and um the the uh like it, it, it somebody pick up a real gun? Uh, I don't see one. I don't have one. But it, it felt like it, it paid homage to, like, Samurai Cinema, to Bushido itself. Uh, just, it, it felt very much rooted in the concept of what it is to be a samurai. Rise of the Ronin is not that. It feels more like... It, it doesn't even feel like a samurai story at all. It's it, more souls... It's it's a Souls game. It's it's yeah. like it's more like Neo, but it's sure. It's a fast paced Souls game. Like the one of the things I like about it is that the enemies you fight seem to be capable of everything that you're capable of. So it's not like you're fighting these big bad bosses that have all this infinite health and these crazy weapons. It feels like you're fighting someone on your level. And I think that's really cool. But um the the story itself is is it, it's just a revenge plot. Uh, it's pretty simple, but the characters are pretty charming. But it has probably, which I was, ex was not expecting, maybe one of the best transmog systems I've ever seen in a game. Hmm. Because as you uh, find gear, you unlock those in your uh, your home to uh, use for transmog. But you don't just transmog like sets or individual pieces or, or, or like like if you select the shirt for example uh, of, of a set well that's a bad example the pants you don't just select the pants you can also select like the belt and like undergarments and stuff like that so it's like the the transmog is more detailed than the standard equipment interesting and I love that I thought that was, uh, the hell bombs armed by the way get the hell out of there now oh my god oh my god, oh my god. I need a reinforcement when you're... Yep, I threw you in towards the hell bomb because I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I hope Perfect. the bomb goes off first. Me too. Yeah. Let's get a nice aerial view. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I got a nice aerial view. I'm sure you did. But I, I was really impressed. Yeah, I was literally about to talk about that, Monty. Monty uh, took the words out of my mouth. There are so many different weapon types and there are different stances. Well, I'm on my way. There are different stances for each weapon. Um, like the, the, um, Katana has like a ridiculous number of stances and that not only changes your basic attacks, but also your martial skills, which are like your special attacks. So it feels like equipping a different weapon almost. Mm. So you got like Katana, uh, Odachi, um, pole arm, spear, great sword, saber, uh, foxtail blade, um, What am, I, what, am, what am I missing, Monty? But basically, there, there's a ton of weapons. They have different fighting styles that have different advantages over different other fighting styles. So that's a little bit like Tsushima. But it... Which I never finished, by the way. I oh, my gosh. Tsushima. It's, I know. How, how deep did you get? You need to, man. <sighs> you know, I don't even recall. because So it wasn't the PS5 version. It was the PS4 version. 
Um, I think I got sidetracked because um, Last of Us Part Two came out like mm -hmm. shortly afterwards, I believe, or maybe it was before. I don't know. I, I was looking forward to Last of Us more. I'm dropping a hell bomb. Hell bomb armed. Hell bomb armed. Gotcha. Get out of here. Get out of the area. Hell bomb. But, yeah, but the resupply. But the resupply. Hell bomb is armed. <laughs> but the resupply, Austin. Bye. Jeremy, get out of there. Jeremy, get rid of it. Bye, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> It was one of those so, things, too, where it wasn't the game's fault. You know, it was just timing. You know, I just oh got yeah. sidetracked. That happens to not me all the, the time. Game, not being fun. Just, yeah. I just yeah. haven't gone back. Um, so I assume you never got to play Legends, then? I did play Legends. Okay. Um, I love Legends. A little bit. Fun. Yep. Yeah. Wow. I know that kind of took okay, off. Okay, Austin. Eleven. Just run right in front of me and grab my samples. What sample? What do you mean? Ow, 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 Get him, ow, kill him! Ow, He's tre right there. treason! Right there! Look at that. <laughs> Damn, I, I can't heal. Uh, Hulk. Sorry, I was reading the room and I think I read the room wrong. I thought that they were saying we need to kill him for, for treason. So that's... You understand. Ouch. Oh, shoot. Yep, behind us. Good catch. I hate that the Hulk can like stagger you and then immediately just fucking hit you again. Yep. But no, it's um, I don't particularly love Souls likes. I don't dislike them, but they've never been like a genre that I gravitate towards. Um, like that's never been the draw for me. Oh my god! I just realized I have a supply pack on. <laughs> they might need supplies. <laughs> uh, very badly. Uh. But yeah, um, like I loved Elden Ring, but I didn't get it because it was a Souls like. Uh, I got it because I loved everything else about it, or I, I, I thought everything else about it looked cool. So, it's fun. Um, I've yet to play Elden Ring. <laughs> it's you should. I it's, bought it and I have about three hours in it. <laughs> yeah, is it just wrong timing, or the game doesn't speak to you? I have a kid. Gotcha. He's thirteen months now, so well, twelve. In a week or so. There's so many games where I fall off and then come back to them yeah. years later. Why the hell I didn't play it on release? So it's just kind of like I've learned to accept that. Yeah, Elden you know, Ring is. Oh, yeah, I haven't played Last of Us 2 either. Well, I have wow. it on PS5 and just have it. The DLC is coming out in June. Yeah. Elden Ring is not one of those that you want to pick up and put down. The wrong way when they remastered it. Right. I was like, guys. Fucking like a year ago. Yeah, we. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna intentionally avoid talking bucks, about Na but... Naughty Dog here That's for true. everyone's benefit. I think it was well worth it for the content they gave you. Okay. That's fair. I didn't. I didn't really look into it. That's all I saw. They did a remaster, so they did like a rogue like mode it, that cool. you got. Okay. Yeah, I, I do think it was worth it. Steven, you're. Uh, so clear. Thank, Thank you. you. Um. Yeah. Me and Steven right, no, don't no, see eye to eye on Last of Us Part 2. No, we don't. Not at all. Yeah, <laughs> which is fine. It, yeah, different strokes for different folks. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rain on your parade unless if it's. Uh, uh, the gameplay is basically second to none when it comes to third-person shooters. Well, that's. I don't disagree with that. So yeah, Death Stranding sucks, right? Everybody, um, everybody, James. <laughs> Give me this, James. <laughs> Give, me <something. laughs> Give me this. It's weird. I, it's James. different. Uh, I wouldn't say it sucks. It's just different. It's it, not what I like. I like that he's making a uh, espionage game next after Death Stranding 2. Like, I just, I mean, it, you want to make Metal Gear, but you can't make Metal Gear without Metal Gear. Even the creator himself. I mean, it just doesn't. I'm so How do you do it? Stone. I mean, they're, no, you just can't. Well, apparently yeah. the uh, the remake of three, oh, Austin, you were you were getting rained on by enemies. Uh, hey, Austin, get down. Uh, but the remake of three, um, apparently David Hayter has played it. And he said it, right here. and he said it was fantastic. So yeah, I mean, how how well versed is David Hayter in game? You know, like I know obviously he's he's the voice of Solid Snake, but that yeah. doesn't mean like he yeah. knows what a good game is. I just 
like, I know nothing about him other than that he voices Snake, and in that same sure. place that I heard that he said it was good, the the guy said that he's known for like not uh, mincing words. So, okay. I mean, I, I'm very hopeful yes, for it. I think cow. Snake Eater is amazing. Yeah. But Sons of Liberty will always be my favorite. Okay, nice. Uh, that was probably along with Final Fantasy VII in my childhood growing up. That Sons of Liberty was probably my most anticipated game ever. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I've probably played through that. That was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> like it looked like your body like instead of being hit by something that there was someone with a string attached to your back behind you and they pulled it like a second too late <laughs> well, let, me, let me go back and watch it on the stream i gotta see this <laughs> oh no i dropped my phone i'm gonna get killed after that So, Jeremy, I assume you like uh, MGS2? Oh, yeah. Okay. I played all of them. I know my initial reaction. Not so, so... much for, but... Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that was an album, wasn't it? It's just because I no. have a PS3. Okay. Gotcha. And hopefully with the next collection, Ow. you'll get a chance to play 4. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I, having I played it, it on like PS3 a demo or a... something. Okay. Um, but I never actually played the, the full yeah, I, uh, 100% 5. And 5 is the only one I haven't beaten. Um, oh. And it's not because I hate it. The story is... Like, the story doesn't captivate me like the others in the series, but the yeah, gameplay is the, so good. The the ending just seals it. Like, oh, yeah. because I, I, I felt the same way. I was like, this is kind of just... A little disappointing. Yeah. It, yeah. it was just kind of blah. Like the, the structure story, was so much different than story. the other yeah. ones, but the uh, the ending really like ties everything together. And you understand why it is the way it is. Can I get supplies? Get back, get back, get back, get back, yep, get back, get back. I'm dead. Never mind. We're down to Please four, back, back. three reinforcements. You see? Yep. Oh, never mind. Two. Two. I had quite a bit of samples on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just run. I dropped somebody right on their samples, so. So that's yours. Dropping an airstrike on the escape pod. Clear it. Yeah, I will. I will finish MGS Five at some point. Yeah, it's one of those um, you just you gotta put time into. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's super. I mean, I know I was really deep. Like, I don't remember the last story beat uh, that I had, but I know I played for probably well over thirty hours. Um, but just took my time. Like. Oh yeah. <clears throat> no, I I platinumed it. On the nice. Nice. That's yeah, a very. Does anybody have 500 I the game? Oh my god! The fact that you could have a sniper like watch you and oh, the, oh qui quiet, quiet, right? Yeah. And the dog. And oh, okay. <laughs> the dog was awesome. Yep. Being able yeah. to drop whatever you want because you captured it. Sending people out on missions and shit to. The drama. Yeah, it kind of took. Uh... Peace Walker and kind of expanded on that functionality yeah. with the yeah that's kind of cool. Peace Walker is great too. I don't know if you've ever finished oh, that one or not. Um, that was another one. I don't think I ever finished it, but I remember playing. Just watch out for the mine. Sure. Oh gosh, watch out for the mines. Watch out for the mines. Oh my god. Oh my god. But the um, Salt Snake, the uh, the VR missions. 
Those were always really fun too. Mm -hmm. Speaking of VR, Metal Hellsinger's coming to VR, and I need that. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. I heard that. Yep. That's cool. Okay. It looks awesome, too. The trailer just came out, I think, today or yesterday, and the gameplay looks like such a blast. I hope it's Quest 2 compatible, because that's, that's what I have. Want to know what we haven't heard from as well, Steven? What? The first Descendants. It's coming this summer. Quiet. They 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 seem to just kind of do that to where... They release trailers or or like betas, and then they're just like, "All right, see you in a few months." <laughs> oh, thank you for shooting that. In my defense, I wasn't thinking, and you had a uh, overshield. That should so it should, let's shoot the wall. It should, of explosives. It, should, it should have caught that. The overshield. Sure. The overshield can tank. Oh, and I I hit the outside of it, so I have to go up around it. Well, I'm leaving your samples here. I'm not taking your samples. No, that's fine. Just take them. Here's a resupply up here. So, so oh wait, no, you spawned it with full supply. <laughs> Does anyone want a guard dog rover? Austin, go ahead and call it in. Yep. Uh, on our way. Your samples are over here. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you did it on purpose. I really yeah. didn't. I mean, I I I purposely shot it. You you can, but I, I I know I know you I can really make a strong argument either way. I really thought you'd but, be okay. <laughs> but there, there was, was no malicious there intent was, there involved. There was a hesitation to you aiming at the wall and you shooting the wall. Yeah, because it was a fact that microsecond you. Were the microsecond was nah, was me thinking. Yeah, it was me thinking. Shield. It was me thinking. He'll be fine. I, I, he has I an overshield. It. I get it. Yeah, yeah. No malicious but, intent. Just, just um, negligence. Just still stupid as shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just, I'm just kidding, Steve. No, you're not. It's fine. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh my shit. god! That was intense. Who did that? Oh, that was terrifying. Quasar what the fuck just happened? Ship with one. What? You, really? Crazy. Yeah. That's interesting. That was one Quasar shot. I'm glad one of us like, likes the Quasar. It feels like it, it's going to be useful at, at, at points. I'm liking but... it. I want to test it against bugs, though. I'm yeah. Sure it goes against bugs. I think it's gonna I feel really like it would do better. Charges. It would do better against bugs. I feel, especially like already... that seems like an it seems like an absolute nightmare for chargers. Oh, it totally will be. They can play a game of chicken with it, probably. That's such good range too. Oh my god. Call, call another ship. Let's see this thing. Perfect. Here. Guitar is really fun. This is awesome. Can you do a quick terminal mission on six? I want to see this thing. Sure. If this is the end of the op. I Watch should have Germany selfishly dive in front of you because he had a shield to protect you. And just yeah. moments ago, you killed him. Yeah, that's what that was. <laughs> that's what it looked like to me from my perspective. Yeah. <sighs> Jer Jeremy, Jeremy is the kind of person to do that, but I don't think that's what that's what he was doing. <laughs> Listen, purposefully, maybe not, but from the heart, you know. Mm -hmm. Unamash. Well, we've got one more mission this op, and then Austin was wanting to try the 
Quasar on Terminates, but we can end after this. Yeah, I'll probably have to, just because I do have to get my butt to work tomorrow. <sighs> I have a long day tomorrow. Like, longer than normal. I, I have, have a four-day weekend, though. Oh, nice. Uh, Monty, everything insane. ragdolls, and it's fantastic. It's, it's so yeah. good. <laughs> it is. I feel like if they ever patched that and just made, like, normal explosions, I'd be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I think I might quit the animal clinic. Uh, in a couple weeks um, because oh Steven I have so much to tell you what what about my job oh I, I'm currently looking for... you're looking for what I'm looking for a job yeah what happened I have I still have my job there okay at Harley but a whole bunch of shit happened and I'll, I'll tell you about it later okay um but nothing's bad at, at, at the clinic. It's just the job just progressively was not what it was said to be when I applied for it. Because it was originally pitched as um, five-hour days, so like Monday through Friday, 10 to $13 an hour, which sucks. But, hey, it's something. So right. then when I got, did the interview, they were like, it's $10 an hour. There's no flex on the pay. And I was like, okay, it's still something. And then when I went through training, it was like, this is not five hour days. <laughs> um, I, on average, finish in two hours. Um, Damn. And so I get paid basically $20 to drive 17, 17 minutes one way, uh, three days a week. <laughs> yeah, I could see that being an issue. So... And, and the issue especially arrives when the, the job I've got with Blue Sky, where I'm doing podcast editing, $25 an hour. Um, and I am working two full days right now. And I think I might be able to convince, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop us in the clearing so that we don't deal with all those trees when we are trying to sub the gear up and stuff. Um, they just flatten the trees anyway. Well, there's still more trees. There's still more trees. <laughs> still more trees. <laughs> um, but so I could literally like I'm, I'm going to ask uh, Casey at Blue Sky I'm going to ask him if he can promise me another day every week where I can come in for two hours if for nothing else for training because there's a lot more that I've not been trained on and if I work two extra hours at, uh, at Blue Sky I will make almost as much from my entire week of work at the clinic Oh damn! Yeah, because I'm I'm getting paid twenty five dollars an hour. I work three days at the clinic, twenty dollars a day on average, sixty dollars, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more. So it's like this is not justifiable, <laughs> and I I enjoy the job, but it, but it's something that's just, and I'm not the kind of person to normally say this, but it's beneath me. Um, it's it's something that is a great gateway for somebody that wants to get in that field or some like a high schooler that wants like intro to videography and video editing kind of stuff. And that, that's beyond that's I'm past that. Um, and the pay is just not there, but the dogs are wonderful. That's the dogs are a perk. They really are. I met this one golden retriever named Allie who, cause what I do is I go into the kennels when they let the dogs out to their like big outside kennels to like clean their space or to give them time outside. Um, I go in the kennels with them for one to two minutes, get footage of them so I can put them in a um, compilation video of all the dogs being boarded in that section. And Allie, from the moment I went into her kennel, she was glued to my, to my leg. She just was like super cuddly kept like nuzzling up against me she was so sweet those dogs are those dogs make me not want to leave the job <laughs> but it's just not worth it does anyone want an exosuit i'll take an exosuit um jeremy i'll have to send you the, the pictures I, I don't i may have i don't know if i did but 
That was a hell bomb. Uh, mm, that was a hell bomb. I met a uh, a black Akita. Ooh. And its face was like literally a teddy bear. It was so cute. It was so sweet. Um, and it was huge. <laughs> well. What happened? I got hit by a rocket and I exploded. Didn't even get to fire a shot. So dumb. But I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of pictures off the city, Jeremy. Um, Hell yeah. I met a couple days ago. She looked like. A mix between a golden retriever and a corgi. So, like, real fluffy, has the golden retriever kind of head shape, but stubby corgi legs. Mm. And she had arthritis. Poor little thing. But she was sweet. And there's there a Great Dane that I'm probably going to see tomorrow because he's been there all week. Um, it's a Great Dane and just this little... Like a, um, I forget what they're called, but like the, like the fluffy little white dogs, one of those, um, but a Pomeranian? maybe it's a Pomeranian, but very tiny, but, um, it's that and a Great Dane. So it's like literally the second smallest dog and the second biggest dog. <laughs> um, but the Great Dane, I, I, I need to get his name, um, uh, he is a senior and he's really shy which is just so adorable on a great dane because it could kill me if it wanted to like it, it could literally just sit on me and i i would not be able to breathe because he's because he's so big tell him about the fox retriever oh the fox retriever so there there was a gold retriever i never got its name either that looked like a gold retriever shepherd mix or something like that because it had like the pointy shepherd ears but it kind of looked like a like a fox gold retriever. It was so pretty, so freaking pretty. Yeah, I meet a lot of a, a, a lot of dogs, a, a lot of very unique dogs. There's uh, there's these two long haired dachshunds. It was a mother and her son. The son, uh, that, 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 that poor mother, um, probably the oldest dog I've ever seen in person. Like she looked like a disheveled old woman. You guys want to go do this one? We. Uh, sure. Go to, go to the other side of the mm -hmm. But the sun kept uh, mounting her, and the, <laughs> the handlers were like, Stop it! Yeah. But she couldn't do it because she's like 80 years old. <laughs> There's a puppy that I met. Um, it's. It's probably one of my favorites, favorite kennels to, to work with because um, it's three dogs. It's this really big, pretty German Shepherd. Um, I think it's a female. And then this like chocolate lab that's a senior. And you can like really tell it's a senior because it's got like the graying around, like on the, the mouth and around the eyes. Um, but the senior is like really gentle. The Shepherd is just kind of there but the puppy is this it looks kind of like a chocolate lab but i don't know what it is um it's uh their last name is is right w-r-i-g-h-t and the puppy's name is always so it's literally always right which is just adorable but every time i film them uh, always is messing with the shepherd to the point where always jumped up while the shepherd was like sniffing something and the shepherd got like startled and just like started moving, but always got stuck on top of it. So he always rode the German shepherd around the kennel <laughs> because he couldn't do anything about Uh, okay. To the left. So it's at six. Yeah, that needs to go. 
Tell me if I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, you're going the right direction. And you're good. Okay, let's keep moving. We got, we got Seif right there. I'm going to be to extraction them. I don't think we need Seif. We, you, you guys can do it if you want to. Um, oh, yeah, that's way down there, too. Are we doing outpost or are we go, going to main objective? Um, I said it was like a check. Here, I'll just, let's, I'll just uh, drop an orbital precision let's on this go outpost. To the... <clears throat> let's go to the what? I would say let's go do the main objective first. Okay. And then loop back around and. What the hell? Neither, so. neither of us got that. What the hell? I'm dropping an airstrike. Hold on. Just gonna. Is this capable of shooting it though? Oh, how about that? There's another one. On the other side. Uh, whatever. I'm going to the main objective. This is stupid. This is bullshit. <laughs> Welcome back, Kayla. Steven, have you seen that um, transmission where I'm not sure where it's coming from, but they basically, the um, automatons are saying that they're not going to enslave us. They just want, like, all that jazz. I don't know the exact message, but it... Um, Sounds like bot propaganda to me. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It, it may, well, I don't... Not that I believe them. But, yeah. Um, well, I need to send you... I think we're the villains, to be honest. Yeah, we, we are. So, I mean, I mean... The bugs and the bots are, are the, the the bots definitely don't seem good. The bugs are just kind of you know a force of nature, but the the bots don't seem very very good. Um, Have you seen that transmission though? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm curious. Like I was, I'll see if I can I find really it. Tonight. Researched it. I'm like, well, where is it? Is it is someone find it in game or yeah. someone just? I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, uh, I need to send you. Uh, have you seen the the one where um, the lady on the on the ship is like, oh, the first bot transmission was zero one one zero. Like she just says a oh, bunch of binary, binary code. Yeah. yeah, and she was like, our ah. experts. Yeah, <laughs> I <laughs> laughed so hard because <laughs> they're like, she says our experts say uh, think it says kill all humans, and then the guy translates it, and it literally just translates to ah. Like A H, and then it just cuts to a bot and she says. Well, I I saw that, but A I mean it could be in that, but I was also thinking Arrowhead. Like, did you guys see the? Uh, that's that's probably what it is. That's a good. Over here. Uh, no, where are you? I'm coming back. That's a, that's a good catch. That probably is what it means. But <laughs> that's what I was thinking when I saw that. I was like, yeah, it could be ah, uh, but I like I'm just like, yeah, I think it might just be Arrowhead. It's funnier to me to think. Yeah. That a bot just like it. sitting in front of a microphone, <laughs> just like, all right, what's the first word? Ah! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, I have to send that one to you. I I I laughed so hard. That was so funny. Uh, I'll take that stalwart, unless if you want it. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Got my old cannon. Did the stalwart always have three mags? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I haven't used it in a while because I started preferring the machine gun to the stalwart. For sure. Because the stalwart should be a primary. It should be a primary. Like, even even just keep it at three mags. Like, yeah. literally don't uh, change a thing. I, I think I, I think it'd be fine. Five. Well, how many, how many shots? Uh, it, it, it does have a lot. How it's got 250. Is it 250? Okay, two hundred fifty? Yeah. Okay, three might be actually good. Yeah, I think I think three would be reasonable because it is, all things considered, more, like it brings more to the table than your typical primary does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right though. I wouldn't. I don't even think I wouldn't change the damage output or anything. Yeah. I think it's yeah. Just keep it where it is. Be fine. What is a motherboard? Also, are you going to Steven. upgrade your tower? I'm going to try to, Kalen. What? What, Austin? Did you see see that photo I sent you? The crank. Crank. No. When did you send it? Don't I'll ring the bell. I'll, I'll resend it. I'll resend it. The motherboard, Kalen, is basically the the brain of the computer. It's where everything runs through. Take a look at it. There you go. 
Oh yeah. What is that? <laughs> Do they make a tank out of a crab? <laughs> it's the crank. <laughs> that that reminds me of the king crab mech in in, uh, in Mech Warrior. Uh, that's Mike's favorite. When I played my co-op campaign uh, with on Mech Warrior Five with Mike, he saw the king crab was a mech that weighs like 110 tons. And the max load you can take on missions is 200 tons. So basically, if you take the king crab, you can only take one other mech. <laughs> um, but it's this giant mech that kind of looks like that at the at, at the the chassis, but it ha it has two uh, arms that are clamps, but also housings for uh, like giant cannons. And it's got a bunch of chest lasers. It's a it's a beast. It is a freaking beast. But. Um, he would always get mad at me because because for a while I couldn't afford it. So whatever, anytime he saw the king crab, he would like hold a fake grudge against me for the fact that we didn't spend the money that we didn't have to get his mech. But we eventually got it. This, this stupid, stupid Spider-Man balls one. That was <laughs> That's one of those that like I don't even think it's funny. I just think the fact that it exists is way funnier than it actually is. Uh, opening the doors now. Nah, uh, uh, All right, I found it. Here, I'll put it in uh, this chat. Good night, Monty. Good night, Monty. Um, Jeremy, what's your availability for the rest of the weekend? By the way. Uh, nothing. No availability or nothing planned. Nothing planned so far. Okay. Oh, there's a help right here. All right, uh, I sent the one that you were looking for, the uh, the, the uh, Morse code thing. Not Morse code, the uh, code. 1011 thing. I found it, and I posted it to the, uh, the uh, voice channel and the uh, memes. You're the best. You said I was the best. You're, we're, you're all the best. That's <laughs> not... Reassuring. I don't. Like that. <laughs> Can't all be I the best. Like that. There has to be one. There has to be one best. I, I have three minutes, by the way. Before your Wi-Fi uh -huh. goes out. Yeah, unless I change to my data. You may need to do that because uh, there, there's no way we're gonna be able to extract in three minutes. Unless if you start running there now. Um. Even then, you'd have to get there in sixty seconds. I would just, I would just change over yeah. if you can. Yeah. One second. Yep. <laughs> I melee Austin and his spine folded and he is because he disconnected he never got back up Hey, um, you should you should look at the stream and see what I did. It's pretty funny. It was timed perfectly because your character never got back up because it was right when you left. So it just looked like your spine folded and your body, your soul left your body. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Because you were in the you were at the button. <laughs> I needed to get to the button. I didn't get to choose anything. What did you just drop me in with? It should it be the same loadout you had. Yeah, that way you can't exploit the game by like using all of your laser or laser charges and just rejoining and getting new ones. Okay. I'm going straight to extraction. No, that's not what I wanted. Is this the final mission in the operation? It is. Okay. Um, well, keep me posted on your availability, Jeremy, um, and be thinking of what you want to play, if anything, because we can do more of this. I'm fine with doing more of this, um, or we can do something else. I just don't know what else we have. I mean, I feel like we have a lot of stuff just kind of lying around. I'm assuming you guys heard about the Gearbox news? Yes. 
which is funny because in, in in my mind I always just associated 2K with Gearbox. Um, did they did they used to own them and they just acquired them back? They or? didn't. They just had a publishing deal okay. uh, for Borderlands. Um, yeah. Well, actually, they published more than just Borderlands. They did Blood, um, the Battleborn. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just a publishing deal. But so it makes sense. Yeah, I'm I think glad it, that I, they're not under Embracer. Yeah, me too. I, I think it's a good acquisition, and it just makes sense because, like, like I said, I, I can't really separate the two. Yeah, it's unfortunate some people lost their jobs though because it was redundant. Now that they are the publisher, so they cut some jobs today. Yeah, as well. I mean, the, the Embracer. Everything that's happened with Embracer kind of fucked over the industry. Yep. I'll and, never forgive them for what they did with Deus Ex. They can eat a bag of dicks. I mean, really a lot of... That was... Yeah, Eidos, right? And they were under Square? Yep. Is that right? Or, yep. Yeah, they... Square selling like all of their Western properties screwed over a lot of really great IP. Well, and everyone was so happy at the sale because we figured, you know, that they wouldn't... Um, they wouldn't pursue a Deus Ex. They put, they shelved it because yeah. the mankind divided didn't uh, sell as hot as they wanted it to. Mm -hmm. um, and they literally ended on a cliffhanger. And it's like, okay, come on, we kind of want to know the end of the story. And, yeah. Um, yeah, they canceled the. Uh, oh my gosh, my own <laughs> my own drone killed me. My rover killed me. Uh, they canceled the Deus Ex. It's been in, in development for the last two years. So, and I love Deus Ex. Yeah. It's so good. Well, Squ Square Enix is one of those that I low key have really liked the like their Western pu publishings. I guess the, the, like I really liked Avengers, and I think it got a raw deal, especially seeing Suicide Squad. Um, I think Avengers d deserved better. I need help here. The community, but um, uh, what, uh, Outriders. I freaking love Outriders. I wish that mm -hmm. we got more from that, but I don't think we will because it didn't sell great and it it was not lukewarm response. I feel like most people liked it, but it just didn't sell a ton. Right. Um, so good. It was. We need to beat uh, World Slayer. Did you ever pick it up? Yeah. Oh, we gotta play that. We gotta. We, but I also have. We, not, I have we also streamed it once. Player. We need to. I, I have not played it since. Oh my gosh! We need to. The Outriders or World Slayer? Volcanoes Outriders. Okay, I was gonna say there's. Wait, no, no, no. We've we streamed Outriders more than once. World Slayer. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. yeah. We, Outriders. We beat the original story. Yes. yes. Let's. But not World Slayer. World, World Slayer. The World Slayer. Is World Slayer. <laughs> I will play Outriders. And, Beat World's Whale. <laughs> Let's Christ. never played Outriders. It's, play it's, it. it's it's fun, dude. You want to play? Yeah. You want to play? play with us, you want to play this weekend, James? Uh, I could possibly, sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, my I'll my plan is to finish Resident Evil Four, but it's, uh, it ain't going anywhere. It ain't going. That's true. We also have Tiny Tina's, which if you ever want to play. Oh, yeah. A game with Austin. Tiny Tina's a game he'll play with you. Austin, what? <laughs> I, I, if there is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> that was very, very creepy. You got a thing for Tina? I guess you guys are probably around the same age. It's just the fact that I am like Max characters now. Also, he totally, uh, totally ignored that comment. I didn't yeah. mean, what? He called you a child. Hey, yo. Hey, I'm yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> I'm fucking 19. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, a child. child. Whatever. You're not even, know, you're not even like half it. my age. <laughs> James Sad. is 40. His bones are basically dust. You know what? what? <laughs> Fuck you, Steven. <laughs> But no, I'm like, basically dust. <laughs> I basically just, I just maxed out my third character. So. Yeah. I, yeah, Austin, Austin's the, when I think of Borderlands and somebody that gets their money out of every single Borderlands release, it's Austin. Because he's the kind of person that'll make max characters of every single class and then do it again. Yeah. It also, uh, on Borderlands 3, I have all, all, all four maxed out. Ow. Ow. 
Hey, Aaron. You gotta reinforce. Which one did which one end with a single bait, Kalen? Uh, but but um, yeah. Let's play Outriders this weekend. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, and if James can't join us, we'll just play Wall Slayer. Um, because oh, Taria Gratar oh. is really fun. Yeah, I don't want to hold you guys back from um, playing the expansion. No, dude. Guys, nice. it's fun. I'd much rather play with you than. Yeah, and besides, we'd get to go down to your level and just nuke everything. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw dozens of volcanoes. Every Jeremy's day. build is You'll literally. Okay. My, my build is pretty insane. <laughs> Jer wait, Jeremy's wait, wait, what a dick. Jeremy's build is literally crafted around the concept of creating volcanoes underneath that, people's feet. Creating I, volcanoes. I, I think, yes, it happens I enough think, to where it's a build. <laughs> Okay. I, I oh no, it's it's favorite, literally though. built for. Yeah. Can you guys give me like the ninety second pitch on the different classes? Uh, uh, the class I use is essentially like all fire and like molten lava stuff like that. Like throws walls of fire, fireballs. Uh, I can pull life force from people. Oh my god, that's the uh, fucking <laughs> shovel. When I when I kill people, I can uh, make them explode. And then Steven, what, what was the name? Their of mine? explosions will make other people explode, and then their explosion. The name of what? <laughs> my um, my class. Trickster. I'm stuck. Yeah. yeah. So the I, trickster I'm is a, essentially a, a melee. I'm a space like, Beyblade. Yeah. Space Beyblade. He's, a, he's a Beyblade. So I actually did space a video of, to um yeah, it to because World Slayer was coming out at the time. I did a video on the channel. Yes, I'm shilling myself right now. I did a video on the channel that was summarizing Outriders and tips and tricks to get started with oh, it. Oh, true. Yeah, and yeah, I and I do true. I go into detail in each class if you want to watch that. But basically, the the elevator pitch is like Jeremy was saying. There's the pyromancer. It's all things fire. It's very okay. status based, where it can do some That's CC, but a lot of um, dot damage. Um, and these are unchangeable, correct? Once you choose one, you're... that is that is correct. Okay, that, that's basically the only thing you can't. You change. can build another character fairly quickly. Yeah, sure. Just like Destiny, then. Like, yeah, you know, Warlock. Yeah, Titan. And the uh, okay. the Devastator yeah. is basically an Earthbender, um, so they can manipulate like the or the terrain around them. They can have like rock armor stuff like that. Very tanky. A little bit of C, a good bit of CC, but mostly about frontline close combat mitigation, very, damage very mitigation. CQB. Yeah. Um, and the way they heal, everyone has a different healing effect. The pyro heals by dealing damage to status afflicted enemies. The devastator mm. heals by killing enemies at close range. The trickster uh, manipulates space and time uh, so that they basically can teleport, um, drop a time warp bubble that slows enemies and bullets. They can create these like ethereal blades. They're, they're the glass cannon type. Very fast mm. moving, very very like get in, get out, guerrilla tactics style. They okay. heal by how do they heal? They have an overshield mechanic to mm. make up for the fact they're a glass cannon. But um I think they heal by dealing damage to close range targets, something like that. And then there's my class, the Technomancer. That's what it's called, right? The Technomancer? Yeah. Close um, range damage. Close range damage will heal. Range. Okay. Um it's funny, wow, like um, we each played a different class. I just realized that. Because, um, uh, no. My brother played Devastator, that's right. Because I never really touched Devastator. Um, that's my second. Yeah. What, awesome. Uh, by, the, by the way, uh, Borderlands 4 might be in... Pro in uh, it is. It is. It okay, is. Yeah. It has so, been for I'm years. Hoping. Just like Metro 4. Hoping... Yeah. Oh, uh, that hurts. I body switch for Metroid Prime 4. Oh, oh do you say Metro or Metroid? <laughs> Metroid. Oh, fuck yeah, Metroid. Okay, okay, gotcha. I love Metroid, so oh, yeah. Metroidvanias are one of my favorite genres. Yeah. It is absolutely my favorite genre. But um, the, the uh, Technomancer um, can create constructs out of scrap, um, as well as do toxin based attacks and cryo based attacks so it's kind of like an ice mage meets a summoner which is two two things that i love uh, as fuck. it's it's a solo class <laughs> like it's meant to be solo i run it as a as a support summoner so i do a lot of turrets and it's the only class that has on-demand healing oh, pff, yeah my airplane <laughs> yeah. It, i, I have thing sounds it's like a in an ice yeah, so so it's a toxic turret. It basically acts like a flamethrower turret, where it's a short range cone, 
but I have an augment on my armor that turns into ice damage, so it blasts like a gust of chilled wind, but it sounds like a perpetually flushing airplane toilet. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Every time, and I'm just running past and I'm like, who took a sh <laughs> But um, the amount of power fantasy in that game is insane, where you can literally stack legendaries on top of legendaries. Like, you can make a gun that's already legendary have another legendary aff affixation to it. It's it's insane. Um, it, like, it, it, it really ju gives you just the ability to do whatever you want, and it, it's it's just like, break the game. We don't care. Um, hmm. so it's a lot of fun. Um, they are pretty loosey goosey with it. They, they are. I, I don't, I, they did one nerf, I think in the game's entire, um, life. And it was two ammo type builds where people were just doing ridiculous damage with just an, an ability that just augments your damage type. It was like constant uptime. There was something wrong with it. Um, but it, rounds? it was all of them. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it was all of them. But yeah, um, the story's fine. It, it it the story has a lot of really cool concepts, but the execution's just okay. Like, the, the, your your character is like holy. Oh, of games. oh my god! <laughs> do we tell him about the Russian roulette quest, or do we let him experience the Russian roulette? Oh, quest? No, oh my god! That. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, no, we'll let him experience it. He has to. Yeah, but it, probably the funniest cutscene I've like in in any in any of video game that I think I've ever seen or played. <laughs> Yeah, because like, hmm. and, and you'll see it's, it when you see it. It's so fucking funny. It's it's funny because like it's on the stream. It's on stream. Actually. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it plays it completely. We did. It plays it completely straight, and it it acts as a badass moment. But it's so funny because of how like ridiculous it is. So it's unintentionally funny, or did they know it, what they were doing? I think they kind of knew what they were doing. They. They wanted it to be a serious moment, but they were still just like, "This is, yeah. How too, else do you do what out. we're trying to do?" Then they didn't. Gotcha. They didn't play it, it for laughs, but they knew laughs were coming. Yeah. Okay. Also, 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 your character is pretty much always sick and fucking tired of everything. <laughs> <laughs> just really is. Absolutely over. So everything. he's Detective Murdoch, basically. <laughs> yeah. He, Worse. Yeah. He, he, he's he's pretty much like in every single conversation, he's just like. Yeah. What 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 the uh -huh. fuck what the fuck is this shit? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool yeah. Pretty much. I, I got out of bed for this. Interesting. Like, it, well, it, I do have it downloading. So sweet. I will. I'll redownload mine. Uh, what night works for you guys? Uh, Saturday would probably be best. For All right. Me. Saturday is James. If you want to play tomorrow, we can, so we can get you a little bit further up. Okay. Yeah. If you want to, if you want to level like off stream tomorrow, I'm down. And Austin, you can join I'm us not for Friday. To play long enough tomorrow. Though. All right. All right, stream. cool. That's the plan. Wait to play to play like Outriders. Yeah, Outriders. It's only three players. Okay, I'll have to I'll have to download it. Yeah. All right. Is it three player or four it, player? It's only it's only it's only three. They 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 said that four would make the game too incomprehensible, basically because of all the stuff that can happen on screen. So the way that I just the, like like the literally the one sentence pitch I have for Outriders is it's Diablo it's Diablo three if it was a third person shooter. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember Diablo four. That's no, I don't actually. <laughs> uh, the season four looks like pretty a decent update, to be honest. Absolutely. Every every time I think about playing Diablo, I just think about the grind. Yep. Yeah. Did you at least beat? Like, did you be, did you beat the game at least? Into games like that I finished it. Yeah. The scene before you enter hell, like the, the, like pretty, that scene. Pretty badass. Oh, oh my, my god, so, so freaking yeah, pretty, good. Pretty badass. Yeah, that was worth the price for entry. Oh, by the way, Steven? Yeah. I have. Four characters maxed out on Borderlands three. Three on three on three on three on Wonderland. Uh-huh. But I'm I'm somewhat close on Borderlands two for one. Okay. I have like a year into that game on one character. <laughs> Borderlands Jesus. two is ridiculously hard to level up. It's the best one though. Because of ultimate vault hunter mode. Oh yeah. It yeah. it instantly goes to level eighty enemies. Mm. Instantly. Yeah, um, it's kind of broken. Most, yeah, yeah, it's not. It's All right, do it. Well, tomorrow night, eight thirty. Uh, actually, well, does eight thirty work for you guys? Can you do sooner? Do you, would you prefer to do sooner? Because I'm uh, Anna's house parenting this weekend, so I'm, I'm available. Yeah, I don't I... know if I have much going on tomorrow. Okay. I'm one thirty yeah. to ten on Saturday, so 
What about Friday? I'll probably like same thing. Okay. All right, you can just pop in whatever then. Yeah. And then it'll be um, me, James, and Jeremy on Saturday. But. You. All right, thanks for joining, guys. It was fun. All right, yeah, have a good night, guys. Later, guys. Bye, Bye Kayla. See you. Good night.